Hello, 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 hello. Hehe. <laughs> okay, okay. So it's spooky Saturday. We're playing the Sherlock Holmes, uh, the Awakened game with a little bit of Eldritch Horror. Exciting. Nice hat. Thank you, thank you. It's my uh, detective hat. I hope everything is all right with everyone here. Hope it's all going well. I played, uh, yesterday I, uh, played some basketball with a, with a few friends, and I am sore today, oh boy, let me tell you. I have not played, uh, like I do workouts, but I haven't played like a sport in a long time. So, really got the ligaments going. I'm a pro shooter at basketball. Oh, damn. Well, I'll tell you what. I am not. <laughs> basketball is not really my sport. I mean, I, I wasn't too terrible, but I wasn't exactly good. Well, that's cool. It's kind of cool being good at, you know, sports. Well, honestly, it's good at... Uh, it's cool being good at uh, anything. Uh, my sport is more uh, hockey. That's what I grew up with as a Scandinavian boy. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I don't play anything particular anymore. God damn, I, I like most sports. Okay. That's cool. Sports are... They're fun. They're interesting. I mean, it's... Um, it's a lot of fun playing them, I think. There's only certain sports that I enjoy actually watching. Uh, hockey is one of them. I don't watch, like super much but I, I think that sport's fun to watch um what else when uh whenever Sweden is playing uh, in a football league uh, that could be interesting though I'm not sure how well they they do mm, what else I'm not too sure, actually. I think it's mainly those two. I guess I do watch uh, every once in a while a little bit of like martial arts stuff. That's fun. Come on. Ooh. By the way, it's got some something fucking crazy going on. I I saw uh, like yesterday a bunch of uh, videos and uh, tweets uh, about uh, XQC getting like a hundred million dollar contract, non-exclusive by the way, from Kick. That's fucking crazy. Like, that's nuts. That's money for multiple lifetimes. Mm. 
I mean, good for him. Yeah, damn. You agree? Yeah. I mean, I think it's, honestly, I think it's uh, kind of a good thing because, you know, Twitch has been uh, doing some uh, bad choices, you know, the last few years, I think. So, the fact that Kick is doing like a, being such a great competition towards them, like a, Twitch no longer has that much of a monopoly on the streaming space. I think that's very good. It's gonna be good for the consumer and it's gonna be good for, you know, us streamers, uh, the, the employees, I guess. Because hopefully that will make Twitch kinda get their act together a little bit more. But goddamn, uh, Kick has a lot of, well, their backers. Have a lot of money to spend, it seems. I still don't think I would, you know, go there though. I, I like the Twitch communities uh, a lot more, like the the people that are here. Like, Kick seems to be a very good for the streamer in some cases, but I do think they have a bit of an image problem. It's a little bit too, uh, too edgy at the moment, and not enough moderation. But I guess it's a very new site, so, you know, perhaps they will fix things. Um... Uh, after a while. Oh, but uh, but Twitch did do like uh, one kind of good thing, I guess. They uh, they sort of went back on that whole 70-30 uh, split. So they uh, did a Partner Plus program. Uh, I think it was... Well, basically it was the, the old deal, but now they made it more public and available to everyone. Uh, I guess. So it's like, um, if you have 350 s concurrent subs, like tier 1 subs from different people, so that does not include gift subs or primes and stuff like that, and you retain that number for 3 months, then you're eligible for um, the partner plus and get like a 70-30 split. Which is, you know, quite a bit of a caveat. Because the people who probably need that 70-30 more than anyone are the middle and smaller streamers. But, you know. At least it's, you know, a step in the right direction, I suppose. Though they're probably doing it out of fear of the competition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. Ah, well. Enough about that boring stuff. I was, uh, by the way, for uh, Mixed Monday, uh, I was thinking about what to do, because I wanted to, I don't know, doing something different. I mean, probably still play games. Because, you know, that's what I like, that's fun. But I was thinking of doing uh, a little bit of extra with it. I need to fix my screen, I can only see half of the screen. Oh no! Oh shit! Yeah, you, you get right on that. I believe in you. Um... Where was I? Be right back? Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, for, for Mixed Monday, I was thinking, um, of maybe doing, like, I, I don't know if I, because it's probably going to be a very, very long stream if I do, but also, you know, I think it would be, like, a fun thing to do, so, I'm probably going to do it, and I'm going to be exhausted afterwards, but I think that's fine, because, uh, you know, 
you gotta sometimes you gotta suffer for having a greater or more fun outcome so for monday i was thinking of doing a like a halo stream where i do play halo one to three the bungee halos the good halos and i clear all three games on legendary difficulty and i won't end the stream until i do <sighs> And, um, cause you know, I played, uh, I played a lot of Halo growing up. Like it was my main game. Um, it was like super fun, very nostalgic to me. And I was pretty darn good at it. I'll tell you what. Um, so it was just super fun. You're back. Awesome. So, um, I figured, you know, the Master Chief Collection is, uh, has been out for a while. I wanted to play it for a long time. Um, I did say, I did talk with a friend that I was going to play it together with them, but it never happened because, you know, life gets in the way. So I figured, why not do it for a stream? Do it for a, for a long stream. I, I checked the how long to beat and it said like that it would be like, I don't know. A long time. Basically, let me think. Maybe like uh, 24 hours, but I don't think it's going to take that long. I think that's for like a, maybe a first playthrough. But I, like I, though it's been a long time since I played Halo, I pretty much know it by heart. So I, I even if it's legendary difficulty, I think I can breeze through them. Maybe, maybe like five, five hours. Per game. It's still gonna be a very long stream, but uh, I think it would be super fun to you know you just do a little bit of challenge. Um and try out to do in a longer stream as well, you know. See uh, how much I can bear. Mm. Yeah. So tune in for that. I think it's gonna be well, I mean, I guess the end of that stream is probably going to be me. Very tired and, you know, very cranky and I just want to finish the game. But, uh, you know, the journey. It's, the, it's all about the journey. So, yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Da 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 da. And then Wednesday will be back to Zelda again. Speaking of Zelda, I checked the... Um, I was going to edit yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. And I noticed that the, like the microphone uh, audio was at least the recording. Hopefully it was better on stream, but I don't know. The microphone audio sounded like I was sitting in a box. Before the stream, I had tweaked it a little bit because I thought it would make it sound better. But oh no, it sounded way worse. So I'm really sad about that. So I'm trying to, when I edit it, I was trying to do like an equalizer thing to sort of try to fix that. But doing uh, audio editing post is kind of difficult. I couldn't tell the difference. Okay. Well, I mean, that's good, honestly. Uh, if if it sounded okay to, you know, the people watching, I guess that that's what truly matters. Um, but I kind of noticed it when I was editing, at the very least. And it's, you know... When, when you're trying to make something, you always want it to be as perfect as possible, even though perfection is nothing that's possible to achieve, really. <laughs> um... But you kind of get a little bit self-conscious about it. Uh, but I did change the microphone settings for this stream a little bit. And I did a recording to test it out. The recording sounded all right. So I think it's uh, better the way it is now. Mm -mm -mm. Well, you know, it's going to take a little while to get everything in order, you know. I'm still a pretty new streamer, so... Let everything uh, fall into place, one one step at a time. 
Well, with all of that said, it was nice having a little bit of start and chill conversation with you. Like you fell in cell life. <laughs> I did, I did fall a bit. But I mean, for every, every failed fall, I did a perfect 10 out of 10 nosedive. Okay. Um, but yeah, with that said, I, I think uh, it was nice having a little bit of combo with you. It was nice, you know, start out stream with a little bit chill, a little chill. Talking things out. But let's, uh, let me start up the game to see. As usual, I started it up a little bit before just to check audio, but I think it's okay. Let me switch scene actually. Oh, a little bit of lag. Uh, like this. Okay. Uh, okay. So we have, have a bit of a warning screen. I guess maybe there's like a few flashing lights and stuff like that. So be careful with that. If you have, uh, you know, any conditions you need to consider. Should be able to hear that, yeah. Uh, now it's just a question of uh, if the loudest parts in the game will be too loud. It looks scary. I mean, it's based on the uh, HP Lovecraft's Edler's Horror and stuff like that, so, you know, that is a little bit spooky. It's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be great. Uh, new game. You know what? Let me. Can I? Where is that? I think I'm gonna lift up the chat widget a little bit because my hat is gonna cover the text otherwise. There we go. Ooh. 19th century London. Shadow over London. Ooh. How ominous. Good old Baker Street, mate. From what I saw on Steam, this game has uh, a lot of good reviews, so. It seemingly Dr. should Watson, be quite good. Would you kindly close the door behind you so that we can limit the price of your carelessness to merely hours of work rather than days? My apologies, Mr. Holmes. I found myself rather taken aback. <laughs> I saw tidier houses in war torn Afghanistan. Oh, oh, oh. Are those my surgical needles? I ran out of tax in the mass. No, those are my heroin needles. Please, Watson, myself. don't disturb me. Plainly not, for I was the one who ate it. Hmm, I set it aside for this evening. And for that, I am grateful. Is that my bed? Watson, since you've proven yourself a master of observation, might I ask you to apply your skills to a more pertinent question? Namely, the whereabouts of today's newspapers. They are the key to everything. The newsboy is usually reliable. Medically speaking, I often find that the key to everything is good sleep. In a bed. Your papers are here, on the table. To see what the postman yeah. brought today. Whose observation? Oh my god, a sense. Holy shit. Very messy, yeah. 
Uh, controls. No. Gameplay. There. Woo! Let's put that way down. Okay. Already a little bit better. I don't know... It feels like every game has the sensitivity up so fucking high as soon as you start the game, and I do not know why. Do they not test it beforehand, or... Do they have like a... Low... DPI mouse, or... I don't know. Okay, okay, looks a little bit interesting. To interact with objects. Oh. Ooh. You should set your to 0 0.5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. What can I look at? This? Ah. Elementary. It says... Oh, oh my god. Uh, and there we go. Another letter from Werner. I never reply, but they keep coming. That's supposed to spell Werner? Looked like Vogel or something. What the hell? Can I? Oh my god, the sensitivity is different when checking items. Can I adjust that as well? Eh. Uh. Oh, wait, upside down. Here we go. Visit Barnes Bookshop. Your order from Barnes Bookshop has arrived, Doctor. Barnes insists on delivering the books to our door, even though we could easily walk in. Did I get like a? That's good service. A book of sorcery where I can summon the Eldritch Horrors. London ad advertised on September twenty eighth, eighteen eighty two. Tensions between England and Sw and Sweden. What the fuck? There's tensions between us? Better just jelly. I am. Um, the fuck? Tensions between England and Sweden are running high after a series of unfortunate mishaps during a recent visit to London by Swedish Princess Ildur. Mm hmm. I gotta be honest, I have not heard about that princess name in Sweden. Then again, I haven't really studied the Swedish monarchy that that close. Chief among the scandals was the embarrassment of the British diplomatic corps as a result of the unexplained disappearance of Princess Ilder's personal bodyguard. <gasps> so it was their fault, I knew it! The long-time member of her inner circle took the opportunity to explore London while off-duty and never returned from the, his late-night promenade. A spokesman for the police assures the advertiser that they are confident in the bodyguard will be located. Uh, confident. Wait, what? I think I read that kind of right, but also kind of wrong. They are confident that the bodyguard will be located. There we go. As he is a striking representative of the Scandinavian people. <laughs> Must be like Dolph Lundgren or something. A man like that gets noticed. Whether by his peers at the gentleman's club or the fair knight... Nightingales who comfort them. What the? Okay. Dove Langren wouldn't do that shit. I don't see the strand. Where is it? Pardon me? I am on the precipice of uncovering a pattern of crime across London spanning many months and involving many men. Give me my strand of cocaine, goddammit. That's preposterous. My dear fellow, life is infinitely stranger than anything which the mind of man can invent. Well, life used your newspaper to wipe its posterior, so after that unpleasant <gasps> discovery this morning, I disposed of it. And but I touched that newspaper? I can deliver you something Ew. equally tantalizing. I have just returned from a patient of mine, Captain Stemwick, who... No, no, that will not do. Grab your coat, Dr. Watson. Let us hope nobody has collected the dustbin. Let's do like raccoons do. And search the trash. Is there anything else I can interact with? No. No. Oh. Physics? Move it, chair. Okay. Man, this room really is a fucking mess. Holy shit. I mean, I'm not 
super good at cleaning as well, but you know, uh, I keep it at least somewhat in order. Don't look at me. If you want the newspaper, you'll have to get your hands dirty. You. Man, getting a newspaper these days is really rough, huh? Uh, it's raining today. Why not dress in something more appropriate for the weather? Open the case book with C. Navigate to the wardrobe. Oh. Oh. Well, that's kind of cool. You can, like, switch clothes based on, you know, what you need to accomplish. Rainy weather, yeah. Hopefully, it would be kind of... I, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming so, since there's so many different uh, clothes to wear. But since it's uh, not only horror, but it's like detective as well. It would be super cool if you can do like in uh, Hitman, where you disguise yourself as like... A certain... in certain clothes, and then you can... That will help you move past things. Uh... Cool and warm. A storm is coming. Wind coat. I mean, it's just raining, so I guess... Overcoat is fine. And of course, we need our hat. Aha! I am Sherlock, after all. Does it matter which hat? <laughs> What's on your head? Boy, they really had a fun time with this, huh? Of course, we gotta be master detectives. Imagine a huge storm comes later. I mean, most likely, considering it's like Cthulhu stuff. But, uh, we'll change clothes when that happens. I can have fake beards and mustaches? Oh my god, that looks so bad. <laughs> it's like flickering as well. That might ha ha ugh, that hat might fly off. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Facial hair for the too confident. <laughs> the face of a gentleman. Uh, yes, I did that, so it should be fine. If you come across one of my drafts, please leave it in the bin. Please leave it in the bin. Did I... Maybe I wasn't supposed to take this code after all then. Let's try this one, I guess. Go away, tutorial! I mean, I guess I could press L, but I want to know if it's the right code. Uh... Ah, whatever. It's fine. Hello there, old chap. Have you happened to see my newspaper? By the way, you seem to have dropped a head of lettuce. I guess you don't mind. Uh, is there an indicator of where I should go? If I'm honest, part of me will enjoy watching you rifle through rubbish. Seems only fair after what you did to our flat. You know what, son? You need to watch your attitude. I am your boss. Wait, there was a map, right? Baker Street. Uh, okay, but there's no indication of where to go. What the sh Do we get mutation powers? That would be kind of cool. A barge bookshop.
New books in the store. Charles Dickens. Edgar Allan Poe and... What's the last one? M. Gogol? That's the one name of those three I haven't heard about, actually. Uh, this way, maybe? <gasps> oh, I can't jump. Well, that sucks. I can't play. Garbage. Oh, garbage. Where are you? Watson, move. It always raining in, in England. <laughs> that is uh, kind of what they're known for, among other things. That is always raining. Always bad weather. Uh, I think I might have gone the wrong way. Are you Peaky Blinders? The weather's super hot in your country. I... I would say good for you, but also I am terrible with heat. As a... as a Northman. I uh, cannot stand uh, too hot weather. It, it's it's too much for me. But uh, you know, sunshine is nice. It's uh, it's ha uh, makes you feel a little, a little bit happier than the cold, dark north sometimes. The water disappeared after a few minutes on the ground. Oh my God! It's that hot. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's way too hot. I hope you have, like, air conditioning. Or, you know, that it's uh, a lot of shade that you can hide under. That sounds awful. But you know, some people like it that hot, I guess, and they enjoy hotter weather and can handle it better than I can. What are you laughing at? Huh? Huh? What's funny? <gasps> You're just selling raw squid like that? Bro, you gotta cook it. Also, now you angered Cthulhu. Oh, garbage. But I guess not the one we're looking for. This is not the garbage you're looking for. You wanna go home and rethink your life. Oh. Yeah. That looks about right for a river in a city. Absolutely disgusting. And probably filled with corpses. Here's some more garbage, but not the one we're looking for still. You know what, maybe it was closer than I imagined it to be. Let's go back to our Baker Street. Sure, let's fast travel. Okay. So. 
If I was garbage. It's the James in London. I don't know what that is. What do you mean the theme of London? That it's always raining. Hmm. Is there any like west the river? Oh, okay, okay. Or the Thomas or the Thames? Yeah. Did not know. Post, strand is missing, you're supposed to it before entering the building because the pages were soiled. There is still a chance it might be found in the dustbin. Uh, or maybe it's still inside. If there's a... Uh, a bin. In, in the building. It's right outside the door, god damn it. I'm no detective. I have failed! <laughs> you were mistaken, Dr. Watson. The paper was indeed dirtied, but not how you implied. It's potting soil. Ah, oh, you are such a prick. What's this? A thorn of some kind. Hmm. No, I don't wanna look at that. Get away. God damn it. Is there anything else that I can catch on to? You were mistaken, Dr. Watson. The paper was indeed dirtied, but not how you implied. It's potting soil. It's a potting soil. A cactus spine. If it gets in your skin, it's awfully tricky to remove, and when laced with poison, the perfect assassination tool. Oh my god. Watson, the conspiracy is That's kind of fucked up. Tried to me. You're a poison? detective. You? That's not, a, not a killer. Oh, I can run. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Sorry, Mr. Holmes. I just sold my last paper. Blast. Then why are you still here? Boss pays by the cactus the hour. gets stuck Boss on your hand if you touch it. Oh boy, I I used to have a cactus uh, against my will because my mother wants me to have plants, but I I don't want plants and I can't take care of plants. So she gave me a cactus because you don't really need to take care of it. And so many times I. Get stung by that shit. Uh, what happened to my newspaper? What were today's headlines? Breaking news today? The dock accident. It's the talk of the town. Yes, yes. Besides the tribe on the front page, anything about burglaries? I'm not sure, sir. Speak up, boy. You're what happened to my child? newspaper? I presume you see everything that goes on around here. Nothing gets past me, mister. Then tell me, did you notice anyone suspicious? That's Mr. 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 to you, mm. boy. Like the man with your newspaper? Precisely. What do you know? I know the value of a shilling. Dr. Watson. Cool, now I can take the day off. Oh my god, a shilling is super valuable then. It's a whole day's work worth? God damn. Inflation has really fucked us all, hasn't it? Uh, what was? Hmm? Tell me about the man. Can you describe the man you saw? The myth. He was carrying a lot of The legend. Up to his chin, they were. Never heard of a well-read assassin. Looks can deceive. Hence the appeal of disguises. Hmm. Sedimentary. What did he do to the you paper? What he was up to? Nah, not really. I saw him approaching your house, but I had a customer. 
Then there's a loud bang. I ducked down. Not because I was scared, because I wasn't. I had to yeah, no, sure, enough. absolutely. And Me all neither. I could see was him kneeling at your door. Where was he headed? Which way did he go? Not sure. I was distracted by customers. Sorry. All right. You earned your shilling. That'll be all. Thanks, Mr. Holmes. Maybe I could be your eyes and ears. If you have more shillings. Yes, little boy. Give me your eyes and ears and I will create a ritual to summon the Eldritch Horrors. I'll stand watch. Just in case the strange man comes back. Uh, you've got a new question in your mind, palace. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Navigate to the mind palace. Inside, select relevant pieces of evidence to deduce the answer. Deduce. Who ruined the strand? We got book from Barnes. We got cactus spine. Potentially poisoned. Okay. Connect. Newsboy's testimony. And... Book from Barnes. <laughs> we have found the connection. The newsboy said that suspicious man was carrying a stack of books. And this morning, Mr. Barnes, the local bookseller, delivered a novel, novel for Dr. Watson. A cactus spine for assassination. A loud bang. A visit to Mr. Barnes is in order. Mm-hmm. Things are falling into place, I see. Like always. Come now, Mr. Holmes. Murder? Yes, Barnes has his quirks, but he also has his scruples. Not every pawn knows it's part of a game. Typically, they just move forward until they become a queen on the other side of the chessboard. Uh, pin evidence for quick access to information from your casebook. Okay, okay. Uh, so, let's see. X to pin evidence, I guess. My god, this is starting to feel complicated. Hopefully... The game will do the heavy lifting for me. Let's go to... Mr. Barnes! I think your bookstore was here, right? Yeah. Are you Barnes? What book are you reading? Tell me right now! I see. Like erotic novels, do you? Go on, sir. Do you even have enemies that would want to kill you? Okay, perhaps from Cordona. A man as brilliant as me, Watson, will always make enemies. Observe. Bags under the eyes. Effects of overwork. Discombobulate. Didn't I see something else here? Eh, eh. I can't go lower. I want to look at his hands. He has like dirt or bruises. Observing him very suspiciously. <laughs> Wait, did I? Yeah, there are more things. Wait, oh, okay, I can move up and down. What the fuck? Maybe I should read the controls as well. Let me see the hands. Let me see those... Those grippers. Ink. Newspaper ink, perhaps? Or perhaps he took an ink bath. I heard it's terrible for your skin, but... It also feels nice. I don't know what I'm talking about. 
I just imagine that he's <laughs> the shark is like standing there and then he's like slowly crouching down and just <laughs> looking at his knees and stuff like that. Leans heavily on his right leg. So a leg. Or perhaps he's just standing like that, because that's how normal people typically stand. But of course, it must have a deeper meaning. You would think of you as a pervert? Yeah, at least a very strange person. <laughs> and I was just laying on the floor, looking at the shoes. Do you want a shoe shine, sir? High heels. Wants to look taller. <laughs> or, you know, that's just how typical fancy shoes are made. And those heels aren't that high. <laughs> uh, okay. Mr. Barnes has developed a limp and has large bags under his eyes. The result of a long hours of intense work. He is not very confident and tries to appear taller by wearing high heels. That is a lot of assumptions on someone. I, like, I have uh, a bit of dark circles under my eyes, no matter how good I sleep or, you know, how restful of a day I have, because it's just like, I don't know, I think it's uh, low blood flow right under the eyes or something, I don't know. It's not based on how I live. So some people just look that way, man. It seems unlikely that such a person would be involved in a murder plot, even if the ink on his hand suggests he is the one who soiled the newspaper. Nevertheless, Mr. Barnes could still be a pawn in a bigger plan without his knowledge. Workaholic, okay, blackmail victim. Hmm. Mr. Barnes has a large ba- oh, okay, so it's the same thing, but wait. Zero confident choice, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that doesn't address the sore left leg that he apparently has. Let's see. He has developed a limp, likely the, resu the result of an attack. He wears high heels to look taller or stronger, presumably to deter future violence. Mr. Barnes is being threatened by someone and might be involved in a plot against me. Everyone's against me, damn you. I'll find you. Uh, result of poor sleep and stress, okay. Developed a limp and has... What do you mean developed a limp? You gotta have a deduction on why he was limping. Oh, from long hours of intense work, I see. Do you really develop limp from that? I mean, maybe. Overexerting yourself could definitely do stuff, but I feel like getting a limp on specific one leg seems like it would take a bit more. Uh, I mean, the obvious answer is that he might just be a workaholic and, and like books a lot and like his job. Because that, that's the most simple answer. But since this is a, you know, Sherlock Holmes game, I'm assuming it's blackmail. Mr. Barnes, a word. Mr. Barnes. Oh, for goodness sake. He ran away. He is being blackmailed. He's already scared. Who, uh, who goes there? Sherlock Holmes. Now will you please... Mr. Holmes. Golly, I did not see you coming. Who goes there? It's Would me, Tinky Winky. For me? Well, I wish I could, but I, Check out my super uh, nice TV on my stomach. How about we, uh, in a month or two? Come now, Mr. Barnes. It will only take a moment. He's opening the window. He's trying to escape. Well, help yourself to any book. Just 
Hello, Crimson Witch. Good to see you. You're asking the right questions, Doctor. Let's find a way to coax him out. To coax him out. Very well, very well. Answers a dog now. Who's a good boy? Ah, doggo. Wait, I want to pet it. Answers a dog now. Who's a good boy? Let me pet it. Answers a dog now. Who's a good boy? Oh man, I. Okay, this game already dropped in rating because there's a dog and you can interact with it, but you cannot pet it. Sacrilege. Shame on you. The ladder is broken recently, judging by the freshness of the wood. <gasps> Maybe that is how he fucked up his leg. The ladder broke and he hurt his hurt his knee or something. Ah, I see, he got a vibrating chair. Hmm. Technology was way ahead of its time, I see. Man, the man's a genius. He can make a fortune with this. Oh, it stopped. I guess it's out of battery. My friend's dog likes to hold your hand in its mouth. <laughs> our, uh... Our family dog... Kinda... is a little bit like that. I mean, she's more, you know, playful, biting. Uh... But then when she gets tired, she's just like, Ah, oh, let me just... Hold your finger in my mouth. <laughs> Which is fucking weird, but you know. Dogs be dogging. I could hardly imagine anything more macabre. It's a, it's a little bit cute, though. Hmm, let me see what you got. <gasps> ah, a book on the occult, huh? It must be a cultist, then. Obviously. Basics of cryptoanalysis. Cryptography in Egypt. Hmm. Pierce Barnes has an interesting hobby. I see. Exotic Plants Catalog. A catalog of exotic plants on Barnes' counter. The name of the catalog reads Everlasting Plants for an Everlasting Love. Cactus do last quite long, don't they? <gasps> Dinning. Oh, does that mean I can do the... Aha! The local bookseller ruined the newspaper. <gasps> but why? Cactus... And... Wait. Uh... Balance is involved in the scheme... Hmm. Oh boy, this is a thinker. We have Barnes Broken Ladder. We have the exotic plants. We have the portrait. Maybe this. Mm, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. Okay. Newsboy. Nah, that just doesn't feel right. Cryptology, perhaps. It feels like all the new information is uh, on the blue. Damn it! I'm losing evidence fast. <laughs> I feel like we have to use the new information we got, right? Oh, but there's no more... ...yellow. You know what? I think I fucked up. Can I do it again? Oh, uh, shit! Help! <laughs> Questions are shown in the Mayan Palace. Answer all questions. Progress to the next. Okay. Uh, 
I completely missed the question. Why is Barnes acting so strangely? Oh, fuck. It's right there. I was too distracted by matching the colors. No way for me to go back. Or, oh wait. Uh, Mr. Barnes is large, but okay, this is all of that. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Had to port it. Why is Barnes so strange? Okay. Yes. Because I believe he's being blackmailed. And he's involved in the scheme. Barnes broken a ladder. But that makes it seem like the leg thing was an accident and that he is not involved. But exotic plants, on the other hand, could lead to using plants for poison and cacti. Shit. Let's see if there's something else. The news said a suspicious man was carrying a stack of books and this morning Mr. Barnes was looking at is there anything else? Barnes has always been a little odd, but this is uncharacteristic even for him. What are you hiding? You left money on the counter. Hmm. Uh, apologies. But I can't hear you. Please come back later. You liar. Uh. Okay. Feel like I should reset. It's weird that. The evidence disappears, so you can't really try again. That one was fine. I just unpinned stuff. I load uh wait there should be this one right I lost all my evidence <laughs> oh crap this is after Maybe there's something you missed on the ground. Uh, maybe. I'll I'll take a look. Let me just try to read things through a bit. I, I wanted to maybe try avoid reading a lot because it's boring, but I think I should. Uh, the information about the case is stored on the left page, yes. Evidence is crucial for investigation. It will contain vital information such as names and addresses. A notification shows when the evidence is updated. Okay. 
An evidence item may have additional icons above it. It's a hint as to what you can do with it. Search a location. Ask the people around you. Okay. Okay. Certain investi investigative actions require pinned evidence in concentration mode. Certain points of interest appear when you have the relevant evidence pinned. Okay. Uh, yes, X to pin the evidence. Press to activate concentration. Ah. Okay, so maybe I should concentrate on some things. Uh, oh, right. Also, let's see if there's anything that needs to... This one we have pinned. So, oh wait, my bad. What what was the? I fucked up. The analyze and okay. Concentrate. 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 Nothing. I'm concentrating, Watson. Doggo, do you have any so, evidence? A dog now. Who's a good boy? What else could I do? It was analyze surroundings, okay. The ladder is broken recently, judging by the freshness of the wood. We're looking for a cactus needle in a haystack. Hmm. A spine in a book stack? No, come on, Watson, think. Well, you're no help at all. <laughs> Didn't miss anything here, right? No, I got two evidence pieces, which is what I needed. Uh, well, in that case, I need to connect the evidence, but it's kind of annoying that they disappear if I fail. Observations. None left. Well, I'll just load earlier, I suppose. And uh, this one. I feel like that's maybe maybe I'm not understanding it correctly, but I feel like that's a dumb way of doing it because. There are multiple things that could be connected, I feel like, and it's difficult to know. For oh, fuck's sake. You need to search for a location on the pinned evidence. Uh, I mean, that's where I am. I'm in Mr. Barnes' bookstore. And that is the pinned evidence I have, I think. Or did I miss something?
Just go further back. And then I'll make a save after I've gotten the evidence, but before I try to solve things. Gonna make sure I have everything. Basics of crypto analysis, cryptography in Egypt. To Piers Barnes has an interesting hobby. Ding. Ding. And then we have the ladder. The ladder is broken recently, judging by the freshness of the wood. Barnes has always been a little odd, but this is uncharacteristic so, even for him. Barnes has a dog now. Who's a good boy? Uh, apologies, but I can't hear you. Please come back later. Okay. Now that, that, that. Okay, let's do a save. Excellent. Maybe... Maybe we do need to, like, go outside and actually leave. But I'll see what I can do with this. So, why is Barnes acting so strangely? Uh, well... This feels like the only reason. Because that's the only thing that you would be, you know, wary of. Uh, the portrait, yeah, that's describing that he might be blackmailed, so I feel like that also is a reason why. And this is in pinned evidence involved in the scheme. Nope. Hmm. Did you investigate the window? You're a genius. I didn't even see that you could. Which of Mycroft's secret agents? It's a sign. Dried flowers are replaced when the job is done. I wonder who the recipient is. Excellent work, dear Watson. Now, what else? A stack of books. An improvised stand, but it does make the flowers more visible. Yes, what books do you read? Oh. What was that? Finest view London has to offer. Okay. All right, forgot about the I could hardly painting. imagine anything more macabre. Okay, okay. With that... Wait. Oh, that's just walking out, I guess. So now we have... Bouquet of dead flowers in the window of a barnish bookshop. It is placed on an improvised stand made from a pile of books. It seems that Mr. Barnes wants to make sure that his flowers are clearly visible. Mycroft's agents use similar signals to communicate with each other. Yeah, because why would you want to show off dead flowers, right? So... I'm not sure about that one. Oh, wait, let's... Do a new save.
Dead flowers. I mean... Thumbed on advertiser, perhaps? Because, you know, they're communicating through the newspaper as well. Hmm. Cryptology, I suppose. Oh man, this is... It feels like so many things could fit. How do detectives do this? How do police investigate? I mean, I guess it's not as convoluted as this usually, but, you know. Shit! <gasps> Wait, I got one right. Okay! So that's why things disappeared. It's because none of them has been a match. So when you get a match... It stays. That makes things easier. Well, then I haven't found the evidence yet, I guess. Wait. Let's see if... That's... I want the manual save... After the window, that's that one, right? Let's see if, uh, I think maybe none of the blue seems to match. Let's see if the, we have one of the greens, maybe. I don't remember which one I tried and which I haven't tried. So now I've done this, huh? Right, okay, good. The bop. Uh, we tried this one. Well, did we try this one, maybe? I don't know. Let's try it. And this one's correct. Maybe this one? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we need to find uh, more evidence probably then. And maybe we can't even find it in the store perhaps? Yeah, yeah, investigate outside the shop. I was thinking that as well. Just taking a final look. Wait, it looked like something popped up there. Maybe not. Hmm. Oh. More flowers, eh? Encouraging people to stop and smell the roses. Our national emblem. God save the queen. Uh yeah, about it that. Must take patience and care to produce a bloom so beautiful. I don't I think you can save the queen anymore. Merely sell them. <gasps> a cactus. A familiar spine. Is this what I found in my dustbin? And a crack. It is damaged. The blow was severe, but softened by something. As if smashed into someone's head, perhaps. Anything tickle your fancy, Mr. Holmes? Don't say it like that. But also, yes. I need to observe you. Wear makeup for beauty or concealment. That's. <laughs> Obviously, uh, she has something to hide. She's wearing lipstick. Distant look. Avoids eye contact or distracted. You know, maybe she is just shy. Some people are introverted. It's not easy, man. All these observations are very face value. I mean, he's literally reading the body language, I suppose. So, yes, it is quite face value, but still. Luxury fabric, unusual for work attire. Is it? I mean, you're working and you're wearing kind of fancy clothes. Morning brooch, honoring deceased husband. Okay. I'll 
I'll be off. Oh, no, wait. I need to... I need to be a, a bit of a creep. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Excuse me, madam. I just need to observe your... your feet. Give me those grippers. Clean boots, chain shoes upon arrival. Mm. I did this one. Oh, I forgot to accept. Okay. There we go. Okay. Honoring deceased husband, unusual for work attire. Rebuter, concealment, change shoes, and avoids eye contact. Okay. Mrs. Fleming wears a mourning brooch in memory of her late husband. Her dress is made from an expensive fabric that is not suitable for work. You don't know. I mean, she seems to be the outside face of her flower shop. Looking nice as the outside face. That is pretty businesslike, I think. Her shoes show no traces of mud. She must have changed them when she arrived. Her eyes constantly dart around the street, seemingly in search for something. Perhaps she is waiting for someone. While Mrs. Fleming cherishes... Uh, uh, cherishes... Boy, what a word. The memory of her departed husband. She is trying to move on, as suggested by her makeup and nice outfits. Perhaps she is dressing to attract someone's attention, or simply because she has learned to love herself again. S that's... A lot of assumptions. Uh, still grieving. Mrs. Fleming uses makeup to hide her tear-stained cheeks. Would that work? I mean, if you're... If you're crying, isn't that what ruins the makeup? Her dress is made from expensive fabric that is not suitable for outside work. Yes, her shoes show no trace of mud. She must have changed them when she... Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, while she tries to bury her grief by dressing extravagantly, she will wear... Still wears a mourning brooch in memory of her late husband. Her gaze, always staring off into the distance, reveals her emotional detachment. Taken as a whole, one must conclude that Mrs. Fleming is still reeling from her tragic loss. Uh Hmm. I mean, I don't know. I feel like there's nothing specifically strange about wearing nice clothes and makeup. Like what? Some days you just want to look nice. Avoids eye contact, though, is maybe. I don't know. If you normally don't avoid eye contact, but now you all of a sudden do. It's like you're... You don't want to show off something. Like you're hiding something. I feel like just the distant look and the morning brooch together is that maybe she's still grieving. And just her headspace is in a different place, maybe. You know? I think so. My condolences, Mrs. Fleming. Mr. Holmes? Your husband's death. You're clearly still in mourning. Oh, oh my yes. god. <laughs> I loved him more than anything, of course, but... You don't have to be so blunt about it. Life goes on. A lesson we all learn, one way or another. Provide evidence. Uh I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. Okay. Sorry. Uh how about this? Are you sure you're asking the right person? I'm Shh. just a flower seller. Yeah. Well, if you're a flower seller, how about exotic plants? I don't know anything about this, sorry. Hmm. <laughs> Being a detective is harder than I thought. Uh 
Hmm. Are you familiar with Mr. Barnes? Yes. No, not really. Dead flowers? Well, in a way. What on earth does that mean? Yeah, uh, that I would have been my next course, question. But we haven't shared much more than a look. A look? Yes. Each morning I go for a walk in the park with my dog. And most days I spot Mr. Barnes there with his new puppy. <gasps> so see ah. Actually, we once met briefly while our dogs played. He's trying to... And seemed unsteady as I bet he's he trying to hit on her with a puppy chick, you know. We've never spoken. I often see him staring trying to attract with, with, a, with a cute little dog. Such longing onto his face. Oh, there's more. Okay, let's do the dead flowers. What do you make of the flowers in barn shop window? Well, they could use a bit of water. Do they mean anything to you? Mean anything <laughs> how? I'm not sure I follow Mr. Holmes. Why do you think they're there? Are you suggesting the flowers are for me? It yes. He's likely, does it not? He wants to show off dead flowers to you. <laughs> so romantic. Um What do you know about I don't know anything about this, sorry. I mean, they're your flowers that you're selling. Shouldn't you know? Are you sure you're asking the right? I mean, I, I'm just gonna, honestly just gonna. Sir. One of these things is not like the other. Press everything. <laughs> Come again? The cactus. Those fearsome spines can prove a devil to remove, and the sap is often toxic. And a rose thorn can give you tetanus, but we still grow them. The cactus seems comparatively what? harmless. You, have you can get tetanus from rose early. thorns? I was under the impression. I thought that was from first like early. if you cut Your yourself on rusty I stuff. When I came back rusty things. Well, the more you know, I gotta avoid roses. Uh okay, now we can do this one, I think. So Cracked pot. Aha! I've solved the case. Almost. Barnes displays a bouquet of dead flowers to attract the attention of Mrs. Fleming, a florist. He may hope she will come into his shop and give him watering advice or it could simply be a symbol of his desperation. Oh, okay. Well, you know. Is it, he's just trying to, you know, find some love, man. You don't need to be so mean to him. Barnes anonymously gifted her a cactus, which he ordered from the catalog on his counter. A questionable choice, but for Barnes, a symbol of his eternal love, since the catalog presents these cacti as immortal. Plainly, this is the same cactus he dropped on the strand outside 221B Baker Street. Now to hear the full story. Okay, we need to pin this. Right. Pin. Pin. Oh, I can only pin one. Well, I mean, this is the latest one, so let's do that one. Hmm. I, uh, think perhaps I have been chasing shadows. Do not despair, Mr. Holmes. Even the best of us make mistakes. We better tell Mr. Barnes what we've learned. But if that was all it was, like if he just was trying to hit on her, why would he run away? Mr. Barnes? I know what you did, and I know why you did it. I'm sorry, Mr. Holmes. I can't hear you very well from behind the door. You ordered a cactus from the plant catalogue and then left it for Mrs. Fleming as a gift. You place flowers in the window to get her attention and wear high heels to appear taller and more desirable. You are always a comes down admirer. to this height, huh? Gotta be six feet. God damn it. 
I couldn't read this morning's edition of The Strand because it was covered in soil and spines. I know you dropped a cactus on it and then fled. Barnes, it's Dr. Watson. Rest assured, we are not interested in disclosing your personal affairs to anyone, including Mrs. Fleming. Please come out. Yes, we just made all this fucking noise right, because then. you dirted my newspaper. So you Worst know of the crimes, really. I was on my way back from the post office, having picked up the cactus and some books. It was quite an awkward package, heavy too. And when I got to your door, I dropped the cactus in your paper. Forgive me. I needed that paper to prove a theory and prevent a crime. Your actions were rather disruptive. Your clumsiness carrying the post is matched only by the clumsiness of your romantic gesture. Oh, it's true. I am useless with this sort of thing. I'm not even <laughs> sure Mrs. Fleming noticed. Oh, man. Poor guy. Arslo. Ugh, I can't speak. Also, this shows that communication is just so fucking important with everything. <laughs> if he would you just not run away and like talked about things we wouldn't have to go through all of this uh this isn't really my area well i mean it's not sherlock holmes area but i know what to do As in i'll help you don't life, worry truth i got your back cease with the obtrusive signals and anonymous gifts and simply talk to the woman Yes, the worst actually. Happen? She rejects you, and you are freed from this endless purgatory. That... That is exactly yes, right. You are correct, of course. Just communicate. I do have a slight tendency to overthink I mean, you things. can... Thank you. So, at last... You can be like... The you, the you can talk in a better I way, of course. A string of burglaries. Did you but... Read of any communication the is the key. Spoiled? In every... I don't recall, ...form of relationship. You're welcome to read our copy for yourself. You had an issue of the Strand here all along? Well, naturally. I am a bookseller. I have a subscription to every magazine and newspaper in London. So you ought to be familiar with the concept of burying the lead. I... Oh no, uh, my apologies, Mr. Holmes. I'll make it up to you however I can. I am an expert on obscure languages and translation and... and uh... Yes, yes, okay. Just give me the paper. He's read about cryptology. Saltpeter explosion rocks. Docks. But that's a mouthful. Locals at the port of London had a rude awakening last night. With loud bangs and thick red smoke disturbing the peace. Merchant ship Moskva had docked at Pier N3 in the early evening en route to Europe when it was rocked by several concussive explosives. The port authority is yet to comment on the incident, and it is unknown if any crew members were on board at the time. Eyewitnesses report seeing saltpeter leaking to the river. But with the area still off limits, no workers on and the public. No, wait. With the area still off limits to workers and the public, it may be some time before we have a full account of what transpired. Hmm. I sense a plot. Come, Doctor Watson. To overthrow Let's the put government. This Farewell, Mr. Barnes. I hope to hear good news about you and Mrs. Fleming. Watson, we must seal the Declaration of Independence. I'm sure Barnes has had enough of our meddling, Mr. Holmes. We best be off. Can I pet the dog now? So, Barnes has a dog Aww. now. Who's a good boy? Well, that was an utter waste of time. An assassination did seem rather unlikely. There was supposed to be another burglary. I was certain of it. Hmm. Something you wish to say, Doctor? No. Well, You're an imbecile, Sherlock. You have a remarkable faculty for deduction and pattern recognition. And that perhaps, if ill-applied, I see things that are not there. Sherlock yes. is a definition of overanalyzing. <laughs> there will always be burglaries. Doesn't have to mean anything. So it seems. Forgive me. Without something to occupy my mind, I turn into an entirely different animal. Which brings us back to my news. I turn her. into I think I have a, a stag. Case for you, a real one. Truly. I'm Indeed. an animagus. Though perhaps not as thrilling as your stories from Cordona. A patient of mine, Captain Stenwick, told me that his servant disappeared. I said I knew just the man to help. What do you say? 
Oh, Watson. Yes, I know it's not the most tantalizing mystery nor the story to launch my writing career, but it's brilliant. Let's go. Oh, good. Well, his house is nearby. Come. Excellent. Uh, well, I guess I don't. I don't need. Oh, it's not pinned anymore. Okay, good. On the same street. Stenwick's mansion. Uh. Oh, bakery. Is this the bakery of um you know the demon barber of Fleet Street? So up on there is the uh the barber. And then they used to kill people to bake the meat pies. <laughs> Uh, I think he shot. It's on the same street, so I guess. Hmm. Is it this way, maybe? No. Over there looks mansion esque. Not much further now. Is this lousy attitude of yours because of my altercation with Inspector Lockhart? Did he put you up to this? Sir, the inspector has nothing to do with it. I'm telling you the same thing I tell anyone seeking a missing person. <clears throat> Good day, gentlemen. Forgive the intrusion. Captain Stenwick, this is my colleague Sherlock Holmes. The consulting detective I told you about? At last, a professional. This useless officer refuses to do anything about Kimi here, my missing servant. What was your name again? I shall be certain to inform your superiors. Sergeant Ruffles. And it's my superiors who made this decision, sir. Sergeant Ruffles, huh? You really like to ruffle some feathers, don't you? Why won't you investigate? Why has the police department decided not to help? We investigate murders, thefts, fraud, arson, real crimes. A servant walking away from his master is not our highest priority. <laughs> that said, if we find Kimi, we investigate law, every sure like heavy crime except like potential kidnapping. You know, because that's not a real crime. Have there been other disappearances lately? Of course, here and there. But when life is tough and opportunity comes knocking. You can't blame those who answer. Now, I must be off. Best you can't just person. always assume you that every that missing picture. person is someone that moved on Listen with their life. Testimony. Then we can lodge a complaint. Captain, perhaps Mr. Holmes' time is better spent learning about your servant, so that he may begin his investigation. Ah, yes. Quite right. Fire away. All right. Oh, oh sorry. You didn't mean fire like that? All right. Sorry. We have a murder. She might have ended her life. I mean, there's the numerous things that might have happened. I, I feel like you should at least start up an investigation if it's not super clear what happened. Uh, where does he live? May I see your servant's bedroom? His shack is in the garden. You can't miss it. His <laughs> shack. Of course, but only to check he wasn't lying dead inside. Everything seemed normal at a glance. May I see his uh, bedroom? Oh, he doesn't have a bedroom. He lives in a shack. He sleeps on the floor. Like he deserves. He's a mere peasant. Uh, when did he vanish? Did you see your servant? Here Damn, he was a guy. Ah, don't worry papers, about it. <laughs> but yesterday, I had to get them myself. He must have escaped the night before yesterday. Okay, okay. Had he run away before? I take it this is the first time Kimahira has vanished. Is there a pattern? Certainly. 
The man seemed terrified of the Indubitably. City. I think it was all the noise. He never left this estate. Should he cause any damage, I will bear the responsibility, for it was I who rescued him from savagery and brought him here to England in the first place. Oh, okay. Calm down with that. <laughs> You're being, being a little, little bit too much there. Uh, why would he run away? Is there any reason Kimahir may have left? Did you mistreat him? I think not. He had all he could have wanted. Gainful employment, new clothes, and all the cabbage he could eat. I don't know about that. If all you can eat is cabbage, I would also run away. Tell me about Kimahir. He's foreign. A Maori. All the way from New Zealand. Biggest man you've ever ah, seen. Ah, he's a bit of an Aussie. Too. Dark hair. And or a Kiwi, tattoo. I suppose. He doesn't speak a whit of English. Never bothered to learn. But I made do with pointing. I invested a lot of money in him, so he must be found. Oh, right. This is the 19th century. Ooh. Not a good time for, you know, human rights. Uh, did he steal anything? Did Kimmy here make off with anything of value? I mean, no. I think the I question should be, is anything problems. missing? Still, Don't need to assume that he stole. No, no. I kept his wages in my safe. For security. Okay. Did Kimmy here make off with anything of value? Heavens, no. I would have mentioned it to Sergeant Ruffles. Still, he must have fled with some money on his person. No, no. I kept his wages in my safe. For security. Uh, why do I... Is this bugging? Haven't I already asked these questions? Tell me about Kimmy here. He's foreign. A Maori. All the way from New Zealand. Yeah, Biggest we know. Ever seen. And as strong as two. Dark oh, maybe it's a little bit more information. Tattoos. He doesn't speak a wit of English. Oh, he's got Never ink? Badass. I awesome. I invested a lot he already of sounds like a cool so dude. Okay, describe him again. I want to hear more. <laughs> I guess. He's foreign. A Maori. What the fuck is going on? Is the game bugging? Hello? Is this Groundhog Day? Am I just reliving the same moment over and over? But I made do with pointing. I invested a lot of money in him, so he must be found. <laughs> I can't exit out of the conversation. Is there any reason Kimahir may have left? I should think not. He had all he could have wanted. Gainful employment, new clothes. Yeah, we know. Hello. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Fucking hell. Just give me all the information from one question. Don't make me repeat it over and over. Uh, so let's investigate his shack, I guess. Um, right. I don't want to get stuck in a conversation with you again. What's over here? Nothing. You know, you should probably... Your gazebo is leaking. It's spoiling tea time. Ah. Modern art. Well, modern for their time. <gasps> Concentrate. Knee print hiding. Looks like a knee print. Oh. And a footprint. A shoe print, roughly size 11, with a worn out sole. These are a workman's boots. Damn it. I don't know British sizes. We don't. In Sweden, we have, like. The, the numbers are measured differently. It's like, uh. My shoe size is like 45. Chewing tobacco. Someone knelt here. You're spitting your tobacco on the statue? That is so amazing, Mr. Holmes. Fucked up to the artist. Oh wait. 
What the? Um. Okay. Use imagination to reconstruct the past. Ooh. Oh. Just snap the fingers. Mm hmm. Previous. No, oh, hello. Can I? There we go. No? I can't move on or for uh, back or forward. Hello? Snap. Snap your fingers. interact with the nose to begin and recreate and okay so Stenwick makes his servant live in a tool shed you think you know someone I agree Watson I absolutely agree oh okay there we go no I'm back here again uh I think you should look around more. I mean, maybe I need more clues. True, true. This lock is quite unusual. A lock. Damn it! It's locked. And then you might unlock the second part. Yeah. I believe you are correct. Let's have a look. These were sturdy boxes. It would have required a serious blow to break them. I mean, even though he had like, I mean, I guess what you would call shelter and food and employment and all that, he was still, I mean, considering the times, I imagine he was still like a slave to this fuckface of a mansion dude. So who wouldn't wanna, you know, run away and live freely? A Maori nose flute. Ngurus, they're called. Ooh. That look kinda cool. Wait, let me see. It's like uh almost like an ocarina. That's cool. Clothes made of Hessian. Is Sten really so miserly? I mean, did you talk to him? No air coming through it. Yes, he is. Wait, no air? Is this a Tanifa, a Maori water spirit? Oh. Else. Either way, it's giving me chills. That's cool. I don't really know, because he was from New Zealand, right? I don't know much about New Zealand or uh, Australian mythology, if there is any. Looks like uh, I was gonna say like a. Uh, Chinese dragon, but he has like a bigger middle part. Someone stuffed the pipe so that he maybe would get dioxide poisoning, carbon dioxide poisoning. Or is it monodioxide poisoning because it's from the smoke? You sort of suffocate. Hmm. 
The rag reeks of smoke. Someone plugged the chimney. The black pot thingy? Which was that? Was there something in here? Aha! Bones! Button chops. The remains of a meal. Oh, okay. Well, that's... The ashes are long since cold. Ooh. What the hell is this? A heavy chemical odor. Lend me your nose, Doctor. <laughs> ah, I'll never forget that smell after my time in Afghanistan. That's an opioid, Mr. Holmes, a narcotic. Oh, okay. So, did someone put that there to, like, make him fall asleep and then, or uh, to make him not notice and then suffocate from the, the smoke? Or was he, uh, was he smoking a little bit of kush? Impressive. The sack of grain retained the shape of an impact. Someone hit their head here. <laughs> the fuck? This is a face. Uh, okay. There's something on the bag? There we go. Oh, it's a little um, scope. Or, um, what's it called? A small navy spyglass. Spyglass. That, that's the name. A spyglass. Okay. Ooh, okay, we have a lot more now, but we're still missing a few things. Let's, uh... So we have this, and then I guess... Uh... Is there one here? No. Bad of it? Oh. So that's a separate thing. Hmm. So these are all separate oh separate instances. But then shouldn't this also be one? So this has two, and I feel like one should be that he's like eating and I don't know, maybe 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 smoking some good shit. And then someone Blocks that, I guess. Let's look around a little bit more. Watson, do you have any insights? Think Kimmy here had an accomplice in his escape. Maybe. Though, who? Do we know of everyone? Uh, anyone he knew? Except the Lord of the House. Oh, pin the relevant evidence. Right, we have so many, so much evidence now. The sounds. So, squishy. Where does Kimia's trail lead? Um... I 
mean the tobacco remnants, I suppose. I don't know if any one of these will answer this question. Well, let's see how much we can get right with what we have. Oh my god, that's a lot. Hmm. We have footprints, I suppose. None of it was right. Oh, shit. Uh, and that. Let's just use this to see if we can get any right. Oh, the strand. Okay. Interesting. Well, clearly we need more evidence, but... It's interesting to know. Okay. Oh, pin this. Does that help with this? Okay, but now that it's pinned, does that help with this anything? Oh, uh, okay. Maybe we have to talk to him a little bit more, because now we have a, a little bit more evidence, so maybe we can question him, interrogate him. There's nothing here, right? It's got a bit, a little bit of a pond. You, mister, provide evidence. Uh, so I thought you were meant to be intelligent. What? What the fuck? That's so rude. Try looking for footprints as well. Oh yeah, uh, except the first one we found, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I'll interrogate him first. Someone blocked the chimney. Well, I mean, maybe you were being kind of a dick. Is this spyglass familiar? I don't recognize it. Could it be Kimahir's, perhaps? I doubt it. I never saw him with it. Nor could I suggest how he might have come by it. Hmm. So there was someone else there. I came across a pile of Hessian clothes in the shack. Are they Kimahir's? Yes. I had to give him something to clothe himself. He seemed unfazed by his bare skin, but I found it distracting. Oh yeah, you found it distracting, huh? Ah, 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 ah. Chewing tobacco. Has Kim here ever indulged in tobacco? No, the man doesn't even drink. Are you certain? I found chewing tobacco in the garden. I controlled Kimi here's expenses since he struggled with the currency. I would have known if he used tobacco. In other words, someone was spying. Are you joking? Why would I know this? Oh, sorry. I don't know. I just pressed all the blue ones because they seem to work. Footprints! Do you happen to know Kimihir's shoe site? I wouldn't have the foggiest, but I'm sure it was enormous. Not that the it matters. foggiest? He spent his life barefoot. Despite my best efforts, he simply did not take to shoes. You know, just uh, bearing your grippers, letting them be free is kind of nice sometimes. Or that someone kidnapped Kimihia or something. Yeah, exactly. But for what reason? We... Uh, we need a... Um, 
what's it called in like uh, detective shows or series the why done it and we also need to find out who done it uh interesting clues are you going with this? i don't know why is that locked the door to your garden has an interesting lock yes i have uncommon locks on every door of my mansion it makes them harder to pick Kimmy here and I both had a set of keys. So he could have escaped. You need to do what I tell you to do. Examine the garden. I mean, unlocking that would help with investigating. Why are you still here? You're hiding something. Mm. Fine. I'll go back and look. Wait. I have more of this. Nothing of that will work. Can I try this one? I don't think I did. Let's just see if we can get the yellow one out of all the things we have. I did try... Which one did I... I haven't tried this one, I think. Oh. Let's try this one. He's saying there's something more in garden? Yeah, I figured. I just um, I just wanted to see if I gained any more insight with the evidence after talking to him. Oh, but we did gain a lot more after talking with him with the focus stuff. Okay. Right, so it's... Oh, we found out that it's not him, basically. So someone else did this. And they had... The spyglass. Oh. Okay. No, wait. There we go. Whoops. Okay. Do I have anything more over here? We don't have the full story with this one. But it seems most likely that that was not Kimiya. Right. Okay. Oh, wait. What? Watson, damn it, move. Yes, then. God damn it, Watson. You're nothing but a nuisance. Key print missing. Okay. So, someone took the key. Yes, yes, yes. Oh wait, and now we have this one. Hmm, okay, so now we need to match, I suppose, which one should be right. Well, I'm guessing the culprit did that, that, and that over there. 
and most likely I mean we don't have the last one so I'm not sure but I feel like he was the one who got attacked Aerial track. Have left these tracks. They seem fresh. There's more on the floors. Ah. A scrap of Hessian. Ooh. And he wore Hessian clothes, so I suppose we can surmise that. Ah. That makes sense, I suppose. If he wore those clothes and got dragged on the floor. Now we need, like, one final location. Man, we haven't even started with the Eldritch Horror stuff. This is just like tutorial and intro. We found out a lot. Maybe we should interrogate him again. Unless... Oh. Visual glitch. Um... Yes. So we would need to unlock this, I think, for the last part. It doesn't seem like we can do anything except try to figure out what happened. I'm gonna talk to him again. Answer me, God damn it! Who are you colluding with? Man, I have a marvelous whiskey with your name on it. Oh, really? Well, I mean, I wouldn't mind that at all. I gladly have a whiskey. Hmm. What about the cart? Maybe I have. Uh, bad eyesight, but I didn't really see any prompt to look at it. Let me take a closer look. You might be absolutely correct and I just completely missed. So I don't really see anything. I mean, the tracks does kind of go that path. There's another one? Uh... One second. Is it, uh... Around here? Actually... Could I just go around and check the locked door from the other side there? Damn it. They thought of everything. Where's the other cart? Hmm. 
Maybe you should look at all the uh, imaginative scenes. Uh, yeah. Maybe you need to actually. But the thing is, I'm missing one, so I don't know if it will help. Uh, according to the the mansion guy, uh, Kimia did nothing associated with like drugs or tobacco and stuff like that. So I would imagine that this scene is the culprit putting something in there and blocking it. Uh. And since because of the cloth, I would imagine this were, would, uh, would have happened because it was probably dragged on the floor, ripping the clothes. Then the culprit took the key to escape, maybe? But then again... Hmm... Why is the lock still locked, then? Did you check the one outside the shed? Uh, yeah, I believe I did. It's this one, right? This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make it. However, though I do believe that since it's his spyglass that he's the one who stood here looking, maybe he didn't have the spyglass out here. Thing with the fountain, I suppose. The two lines. Arrow track wheels. Hmm. It's a mystery. Though, how would he have hit his face, I guess, if he was dragging like that? Hmm. Eh. What's in? God damn it. He wouldn't fall backwards if the face is printed inside there. So none of these seems feasible. This one, however, he could have dragged him and then pushed him down there, maybe? Oh, you're right. Pinning the evidence. God damn it, I completely forgot about that. Oof. Detective game, huh? There's so much to think about. I'm used to, you know, pointing and shooting or swinging a blade. Uh... So this is pinned and it needs to be pinned what does that entail oh wait maybe now we can also do this uh, okay not really Did we get any new trail? Nope. Hmm. And no, okay. Uh, yeah, the thing is, there's only one set of tracks, and they don't really... 
They only lead sort of this way. Oh, wait, now we can do it. Oh, we need to pin the evidence. Ah, just like you said. And now we can look over here. Okay, okay. Moldy, not used recently, broken. Okay. So, I guess it's not that part then. Well, that, that's great. There's a broken old cart in the garden, but it's unlikely to have been used recently. Fucking great. again maybe I just feel like we need that door unlocked to find the rest of the clues but maybe I'm wrong this dreary rain yeah. is making a miserable day even worse man does he want me to find out what happened or not could you know be a little bit more helpful Prompts. This disappearance is intriguing now. I cannot make head nor tail of it. You and me both, brother. Oh wait, here, 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 here. Oh, there was more tracks actually. I did not see that. Thus grass doesn't grow here, okay. Pile of logs. Someone moved a cart to this spot and then took it elsewhere. Can't see it anywhere in the garden. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, that was correct. Okay. Validate. Oh. Never mind, sorry. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably likely. Surveilling from afar, the intruder waited for a window of opportunity. Aha! When Kimi here went to sleep, the man crept up to the shack and slipped narcotics down the chimney pipe, then blocked it with a cloth. Yes, he do with him. inhaled the sedative and fell into a deep sleep. The intruder tried to move him, but the man was heavier than expected. The intruder fell on the sack and dropped his spyglass. In order what a to new. transport the servant, he had to use the cart. The final challenge was opening the garden door. Luckily for our intruder, Kimahir had the key in his shack. Yes. Remarkable. It makes total sense. I know, right? I figure it out all by myself. Now, let's... Oh, wait. Expand? Okay. Now let's provide the evidence. I cracked the case wide open. You'd best have found something by now, gentlemen. That is Mr. Gentleman to you, sir. Uh I fear yes. that someone may have spied upon Kimi here. Likely the owner of the spyglass I found earlier. It appears they were watching for some time. As there was an impressive amount of chewing tobacco on the ground. And your point yes. Well, my point is that I found the residue of narcotics they wanted in his him there are several explanations for its huge bulging muscles. Interest or an attempt at poisoning. Cut to the chase, Mr. Holmes. 
I'm giving you everything. What do you mean? <laughs> you said that you checked the shack earlier. Did you notice the cart tracks near it? Now, one ought to expect a servant to make regular use of such a thing. Indeed, I would have overlooked the detail were it not for the cart's absence. If, as you say, Kimmer here never leaves your estate, then where did it go? I expect answers from you, Mr. Holmes, not questions. I won't keep you in suspense any longer, Captain. Boy, Kimahir he's a bit of a by the owner of the sour crouch, when isn't he? When your servant fell asleep, he slipped a narcotic into Kimahir's brazier to make him sleep even more soundly. In order to carry a man as large as Kimahir, the intruder stole the cart and rolled him right out of your garden. Now, hold on. All this simply to tell me what I already know. Why haven't you found him yet? Ah, humbug. I only arrived a moment ago. It is, frankly, incredible that I have already deduced so much. Yes, Every can't you see how incredible I am? Here, waiting for me to stroke your ego is another second wasted. I'm not I don't want you to stroke how, my anything. Why, Just get away from who. me. I am only interested in recovering my investment. Spare me the claptrap, boy, and go and fetch my servant. <laughs> yeah, honestly, fuck you. Do it yourself Captain, then. You are so addled by delusions of competency that you miss the blindingly obvious. Without the assistance of others, you are utterly incapable. <laughs> you Get fucked. Endured your nonsense far longer than I will. Uh, the point is, Captain, we're telling you this for a reason. The intruder fled through the garden door, and we need a key to follow his trail. Well, then you should have led with that. Here you you go. are, I you hope bitch. Return soon with good news. And in the meantime, please teach your companion the art of brevity. And you, sir, should learn about propriety. You have no etiquette at all. I'm giving you everything. Fucking piece of shit. If it weren't for me wanting to save Kimihia, I would tell you to go fuck yourself. You know what? You can go fuck yourself, but I still solved the case. Because I'm a goddamn detective. Okay. Uh, where should I go now? Trailing cap. So now let's pin this. Did I do it? Yeah. Okay. Good. And then see if we can solve this. Oh no! Wait. Maybe we need to get this one first. The notable features of the adductor. Chewing tobacco and spy glass. Absolutely. And then... The footprints go. So we get the shoe size, right? Yeah. Wait. Read. Okay. Oh, we got the key as well. Yeah. But these are, yeah, these ones. Was, wait, was chewing tobacco not one of them? I feel like chewing tobacco is absolutely something that could lead to, you know, a notable feature of the abductor. I guess they mean physical features, but still. Did he give the key? Yeah, I think he did. I think he did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just try, try this one out. I know it's wrong, but yeah. Okay. Let's keep looking. It's time to deduce. A bicycle. A bicycle. Bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. Hmm. Okay. 
Here's some tracks. More tracks. A rope? Oh, Sturgeon maybe rope this is the cart, actually. In a Portuguese bowline. This knot is often used by sailors to create a bosun's chair. God damn. I had no idea. A pocket. A strange substance. I have my suspicions based on the color and consistency, but would you care to hazard a guess, Doctor? Uh flower. Roy Soulsby. That be the name of our man. Well, it's odorless, but from the way it absorbs water, I'd say saltpeter. <gasps> then we're in agreement. Well, done. just like what fell into the lake. No, the ocean. Or from the boat. The newspaper. It spoke of, of saltpeter. Hmm. What else? What else? We have that one. What? The wheel. Wheels picked up grass along ah. the cart, I gather. Okay, okay. So now we can do uh one a moment. We can do this one because we have his name. We got the calling card. Okay. You know, I feel like the name of someone is very, you know, a very strong feature of someone. Okay. Particular knot, a spyglass, and the footprints for a, uh, of a working man's boots. They all add up to one conclusion. Kimi is a doctor, is a sailor. Alright, let's try to pin that. And then see if we can solve this. Saul Peter, maybe. And sailor. Yatta. We now know that Kimiya's kidnapper is most likely a sailor. That is, no, uh, no, no, no. Wait, that his wallet bears saltpeter residue, and that there was a recent saltpeter accident in the port of London. Everything suggests that to find Kimiya, we must head to the port of London. There is no time to lose. It is vital that we find a cab to the port of London immediately. Awesome. We have deduced. And now it's time to chase down our culprits. Doctor, do you recall? The port of London, of course. The footwear, the spyglass. Indeed. It's so obvious now that we have all the evidence. Uh let me map. Where's the port? It's over here, right? Yeah. Uh, wait, shouldn't I go this way then? Oh, actually, I should probably go to the mansion owner and tell him about it. Checking around a little bit. Is there anything here? No? Okay. Dear customer, I have done it! 
You absolute piece of shit. Are you stupid, Mr. Holmes? Stop loitering and go and do your job. Soon there's gonna be a second Sherlock Holmes needed to investigate my murder on this fucker's piece of shit ass. I mean, we do have the name of the person. Uh, I believe. Uh... Let's see. So you drop the cart... ...over here. Over here. And then they probably had like a carriage or something. Wait, can I go in the boat? No. Well, no, I don't think so. Okay. They probably entered like a carriage here. Tracks kind of lead this way. Hello. Take me to port. Uh, you cannot return after leaving. Be sure to finish everything you wanted to do here. I, I mean, I don't know what else to do. We gotta find the culprit. Can't let him get away. Over into international waters. The Blood Red Knight. <laughs> it's like the Red Mr. Wedding Holmes, in Game of Thrones. What a compelling mystery we have stumbled upon. Perhaps I have the premise of my next novel. Uh, one kidnapping does not a story make. Stop! A black cat crossed before us. It's a bad omen. I did not take you for the superstitious type, Doctor. Such things are mean? mere fantasies, tricks of a feeble Black cats mind. are cute. One imagines a physician would keep a surer footing in reality. Perhaps before the war, my time abroad was. I love the zoom in. <gasps> before the war. I came across an Afghan, bleeding, who I could not save. He pressed a rosary into my hand. A gift, he said, so as to gain God's favor. After that, Doctor Watson. Yes, well, I shan't get into details, but is the next later, investigation gonna get worse than abduction? I would assume so. And things grow ever more dire. The man's words came to me. I mean, it might still be missing people, but I think it's gonna get more superstitious, yes, or supernatural, rather. A British soldiers found me, to whom I'm grateful. Without their diligence, you would not be standing here, and I would not have this case. I'm sure you have another explanation prepared, Mr. Holmes, but I think I shall cling to the occasional superstition all the same. To each his own, Dr. Watson. So long as it does not interfere with my methods, do it. We must press on, cat or no cat. The question remains, why abduct Kimi here? Get more scary, yeah. I, I, I like uh, eldritch horror stuff, it's kind of... It's uh, in very interesting. I do I do so enjoy like uh, those types of spooky stories and uh, you know just uh, mythology and stuff in in general. Mm. It appears that the saltpeter explosion rattled the locals. Can't blame okay. them. Ask staying. bystanders. Bystanders, where are you? Hello. Uh, you okay there, buddy? Had a little bit too much to drink? Or are you trying to break in, or...? You know what? I'll just leave you to it. Uh, pin the evidence. Oh. Let's do that one. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Oh, you're fortunate. 
Usually wanders close to the dockyard. Okay. How about you, Mr. Thief? Excuse me, just one question. Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Can you help me with this one? No. Oh, wait. May I ask for your assistance? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Okay. I'll ask you again. Can you satisfy my curiosity? It's a shame I can't answer your question. Okay, okay. To the dockyard. There. I'll ask you first. Is this familiar to you? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. And I don't think you have more than one voice actor for these bystanders. May I ask you something? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Oh, it's a kitty. Can't pet the kitty either, huh? Damn you, game developers. Hi, doggy. Oh. Uh, hello, you, sir. Have you seen this man? I can't get close to you. Wait. Almost. May I ask you something? There we go. Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Ah, uh, well, that was useless. How about you, May sir? May I ask you something? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Walk into the the cursed mermaid. Reputable establishment. I've seen worse. Uh, I think it looks kind of cozy. Got an open fireplace. I mean, it needs a little bit of cleaning, but you know. Greetings, miss. I'm hoping you can help us. We shall soon see. Uh. You know what? Let's ask about the port incident. I heard tell of a recent explosion in the port. What do you know of it? Ah, yes. Something exploded in a ship's cargo hold. Caused a terrible blaze. The sky was red with they smoke. They were blazing and... it? Where precisely did it occur? The ship sank near the third pier, next to the dockyard. Uh... Yeah, let's do an observation. Into creep mode. Let's go. Chapped lips. I mean, could be just because they're a bit dry, you know? People get dry lips. Vomit stains, ooh. Oh, morning sickness. I mean, okay, so maybe she you could deduce that she's pregnant, but also, she works at a bar. Maybe she just got fucked up, you know? Belly a bit distended. That's rude, Sherlock. You shouldn't assume that. Trousers a little too tight. Okay, <laughs> now you're just extremely judgmental here. Uh. Hmm. It's in early stages of pregnancy, hence the slightly distended belly and hints of morning nausea. Chapped lips and pale face indicate a lack of proper nutrition, however... Okay. She tries hiding her swollen belly by wearing trousers that are too tight for her. I mean, it could be either of this, I guess. Uh... Ba -ba 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 -ba. She clearly has yet to know of her pregnancy and she keeps wearing her usual clothes, which are now too tight for her. I mean, honestly, it could be either one of these. But I'm guessing... 
during these uh, times you don't really have a proper pregnancy test so i guess you would be unaware in the early stages I love, I love how bl like blunt he is with it. You are with child. Miss, what if I told you that you are in the family way? No, really? Oh, thank you, sir. How would I, a simple woman, have ever known without your help? You must be a doctor. I think she's being sarcastic. He's not. He merely has the ego of one. I apologize, miss. Mr. Holmes is fond of his observations, but I am the doctor here, not him. Do you need any help? I'm fine, thank you. I would rather not discuss my condition, nor let word of it spread. Hello, damn. My deduction skills are not that great, I guess. You need help my finding a man? I are seeking a burly man, above average height, with workman's boots. Half my customers, then. Your description hardly narrows things down. Hmm. Are you card. familiar with a Roy Salisbury? Roy Salisbury? Hmm. I know the name, but he's not one of my regulars. My guess is that he works somewhere around here. He's a duck hand, perhaps. This construction is very <laughs> unstable. I feel like <laughs> that's fucking scary. I would not want to be in that building. Hello. Could you help me? I'll Sorry that I walked into you. <laughs> hey! Can you help me? <laughs> I missed her. You okay there, buddy? You don't look too well. Uh, did you see this Could man? You help me? I can't tell you because I don't know. And he's hitting a rat first. <laughs> Not on purpose. And also, saying I hit someone is misleading. Are you able to help me? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. I found it interesting that you say nobody here knows the answer, and then you immediately have to say ask someone else. You just said nobody here knows the answers. What would Could be the point me? of asking I anyone else? You. Hmm? you can help me? You may have gone to watch the ship that exploded yesterday near the third pier. Ooh. Thank you, kind sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you able to help me? <laughs> Just walk it into everyone. Help me! Help me! <laughs> oh wait! Shit! Uh. Okay. Red drag over house entrance. Okay. There's another missing... Oh, shit, there's more of these. Who abducted? Uh... I mean, no. This is, this is probably wrong, but... Where is he? We don't have nearly enough evidence yet. Mm. 
the third pier. Is there an indication as to where that may be? Oh. Well, I guess that answered my question. Tell me, please. Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Can't or won't. Uh, I can't reach you. Could you? Can't talk to you. Hello. I'm concentrating. Excuse me, sir. 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 Alright, fine. You get away this time. I forgot about Watson that I feel like he is chasing you. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really do much, does he? Except being snarky. Here, him won't be easy. Thank you for your insight, Watson. Hey you, you're observing. Are you the person I'm looking for? Are you Roy Soulsby? Pardon me, sir. I am looking for Roy... Oh, not again. Yes, I'm Roy. But I can't help you find your uncle or whoever you've lost. Your now, uncle? what makes you think I would inquire about missing people? You are the fourth person to ask this week. Just because I work at the port doesn't mean I keep track of everyone who comes here. No, but the fact that you left your calling card where a person went missing. You say we are not the first to ask you about a disappearance. Do you recall anything about those who gives you slight mind? jump scares? <laughs> I only remember the foreign woman. I didn't catch her name. Watson, he's, he's got a, a scary mustache on his face. Has me twice now, and I still don't know nothing. And this woman can be found. No clue. She was talking gibberish. Gibberish. Uh, what are you doing here? May I ask what you're doing here? This is where the ship sank the other day. I'm trying to work out how we'll remove it. Okay. Now where was I? Now where was I? Provide. Wait, observe. He also has bags under his eyes. Does that mean that he's overworked? Or blackmailed? Five five tall. Average height. Is it? Because if that's average height, then I'm fucking good! Woo! <laughs> Above average, baby! Uh, mini stamp ink stains. HM plus. Okay, so yeah, I guess it's the stamp of the ship he's on? Maybe? Who knows? Uh, Alright, moving down. Excuse me, sir. Waltham Hillside Pocket Watch. Mint. Solid gold. Intriguing. No muscle tone. Not brawny. <laughs> Calling him out, man. Damn. You need to lift more, bro. Uh... He is of English blood, around 5'5", five five, and has an average build. Okay. His lack, of, his lack of muscle tone implies that he is hardly strong. Sherlock be fucking judging everybody. Mr. Soulsby does not seem to look like him. He has abductor. Oh, because he wouldn't have been able to kind of drag him and lift him and stuff like that because he seems too scrawny. So perhaps he was the carriage driver or something like that when they made their way out of there. His left palm bears uh, several stamp ink stains. Some letters remain visible. H.M. Cuss. He be cussing. Apparently Mr. Soulsby in the custom is in the customs officer. Okay. Is it the custom officer? God damn it. Corrupt officer. I mean, it would definitely seem that way. Uh, he holds a brand new Waltham Hillside watch in his pocket. He can never afford such a thing, so he may have stolen it or gotten a bribe. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Evidence. Uh, okay. Yes. Have you seen this before? My card? No, of course not. I have not never seen that. Servants kidnapping, I might add. I, I, no. Someone used it without my consent. How else would it end up there? <laughs> yes, how else? That boat explosion stopped most traffic coming into the port. Guess I'll be without work for a while. I'll be going to Scotland Yard and dust for your prints on that card, mister. Okay. Can we do some of this? I'm guessing not yet. See if any of these could be correct. Yep. Oh, I don't even have enough of that. Okay. He's flustered. Yeah. I mean, even if he would not be guilty of uh, the abduction, if it truly is a coincidence, which that would be a fucking coincidence, he is guilty of something, all right. Hey, you. Excuse me, just one question. No, sir, I've never heard of it. No, sir. Okay. Let's ask about... Mm. Let's pin that. Could you help me? No, sir. I've never heard of it. Ah, uh, well, okay. Could you be a little bit more engaging, please? May I ask for your assistance? No, sir. I've Guilt of receiving bribes. Yeah, most likely. So maybe it's uh, Colin Card was there because he maybe he didn't technically like help with the abduction, but maybe he like you know got bribed to look the other way. Uh, Uh, yeah, let's have that pinned and ask around. Likely a sailor is, yeah. Do you know anything? Excuse me, just one question. Sorry, sir, I can't help you. I gotta be honest, I did not think the starting sequence would be this long. May I kind of would have hoped we would have... Knows the seen some uh, eldritch else. horrors by now. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Well, God damn it, who can help me? Excuse me, madam. Excuse me, just one question. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't know anything. Of course you don't. I'll try this one, because it's missing people in general. Oh, sorry, I know nothing. Ah, god damn it. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, hello. Is this like a secret club? Are you a bouncer? Can I go Could in? You help me? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Okay. Do you know the Are answer? You able to help me? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Oh. Is this familiar to you? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. 
How can I help? I could try and flag someone down. Sure. May I ask for your assistance? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Uh, God damn it. Who knows stuff in this area? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. Uh, I don't think anyone here knows the answer. God damn it, Ch Shanty Town. Is this a town where everyone does sh sea shanties? Soon, where the wellerman comes to bring us sugar and tea and rum. All the people appearing out of nowhere be giving me slight jump scares now. <laughs> Aww. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We haven't even gotten to the scary part yet. You need to settle in. Uh, hello? Okay, you know what? I won't wake you up. What? Hello? You good? Can I ask you a question? Oh, sorry, I know nothing. <laughs> I love that. Look, I know when you have a really hard time and you're like really crying right now, but can I ask you... Have you seen this man? May I ask you something? No, sorry, I know nothing. Uh... I have trust issues in games. I fear they're gonna attack out of nowhere. That's fair, that's fair. I mean, that's kind of what happened when we played through Resident Evil, so, you know. And also, from my experiences with Eldritch Horror stuff, people go fucking crazy. You never know, you never know. You know anything about this? Could you help me? Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't know anything. Oh, it's the inn again. We do have a little more evidence. Maybe the bar keep can. What do you know about this poster? A foreign woman asked to put it up. She's plastered them all over the port. Any clues as to her whereabouts? None. It was hard to understand what she was saying. She was speaking gibberish. What can I get you? After the incident the other day, it seems customers are staying at home. Oh, I couldn't ask about anything else. Okay. Well. Great. Hello. Can I ask you a question? It is a shame I can't answer your question. Hello. Can I ask you a question? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. How about you? May I ask for your assistance? As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about this. My God! Anyone just point me in the right direction. You, sir. Do you know anything about this? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Well, screw you then. What does the map say? Nothing. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. <laughs> right to Captain... Oh, wait, I thought it was Captain Ahab. <laughs> Isn't that like the... The captain that hunts down the white whale? In the Edgar Allan Poe, I believe, book. Strong men needed for honest work apply at the pub. Okay. Well, we are looking for someone who has a certain amount of strength to be able to lift another man. Are you able to help me? As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing. Okay, do you know something about this? Could you help me? No, 
time, sir. I've never heard of it. Don't call him an it. Help me, please. As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about this. God damn, everybody's so useless. Nanny? Wait. Was that just me or didn't... Didn't you see someone dangling their feet over there? I don't think they even want to have... Yeah, probably not. A am I going crazy? Did I not just see someone sit on that... What? What the... Huh? The person who's sitting over there... He disappeared. And then he reappeared. What the fuck? Could you help me? As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about this. Ah, oh, well, great. Screw you, ghost. Fuck off, ghost. May I ask you something? It is a shame I can't answer your question. Uh, I guess these markings mean that this is the thing we should go asking around about, so I'm just gonna go to everyone I can, I think. Go to Daya's house? Oh! Can I can do I that? I'm not sure I know where it is. Oh, Shantytown. Never mind. Reading. Can I ask you a question? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Okay. Well, let's uh, do this. No. Let's do this. Uh, Shantytown. Okay. Let's see if we can find her. Carry that. Hello? Excuse me, just one question. It's a she we can't answer your question. I like the the garlic beside the door. Like they're afraid of vampires. This is to the bar. Are you able to help me? Oh. All right. Sorry, Never I mind. I asked her before. <laughs> Where is lives in the port's shanty town? Yeah. A red drag hangs over her. Oh. Let's look for a red rag. This is kind of red. Do you know anything about this? Ugh, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't know anything. It's <laughs> just so annoyed at me asking. Like, oh, no, I don't know Excuse anything. Me, just one question. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't know anything. Well, uh, alright there, mademoiselle. Then I won't bother you anymore. Do you know anything about this? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Okay. Is there another red rag somewhere? Well, I mean, now I'm back here, so... It's like at the entrance directly, if I'm not wrong. Oh, okay. So it's supposed to be super obvious. Um... Oh, wait! Red. Red. And more red. 
It was super obvious. Hello, lad. Oh. Is this where I may find Dea? You read the poster? Yes? You know what my brother Girves is? Not Sadly, yet. No. Well, not yet. Mm hmm. Is Dea here? I want to speak to Dea. Is she around? Dea, I mean. Emma, my mother. She got sick after the hot. the fire. Big red smoke. Oh. She couldn't breathe, so I took her to the doctor. Yeah. Now I am in charge. Smoke in, in ugh, smoke inhalation. It's very bad for your lungs. Where did you last see Girves? He worked at a um warehouse. This man, Roy Solby, gave him the job. He paid him a ne a necklace. Okay. <laughs> he paid him with a neck. Less. Do you still have the necklace that Salisbury gave to Girves? Girves left it near the um, shrine. Mm -hmm. I tried to sell it to buy Alma medicine, but but no one wanted to buy. Okay, why would nobody want to buy it? Is it cursed? Is it because it might be stolen goods? How would you describe this Salisbury? He was big and strong. Um, he had a big scary eye. Scary, you say? Ah. Yes, like, uh... That's like not what we metal. saw. Metal. So, the one we asked about might have been uh, lying about being Roy. Don't go anywhere. I miss Gervis. Do you think he's okay? Uh, I plead the fifth. I can neither confirm nor deny that. This cheap pendant looks like silver, but it's only made of tin. No surprise the boy couldn't sell it. Okay. I think we should uh, confront this Mr. Roy, or as he claims to be. Because we just found out that the description of the actual Roy is nothing like him. I believe, at least. Yes, he looks to be okay. Local clinic to turn from sick. Oh, or maybe we should go to the local clinic, right? Okay. Yes, this one seems to be what we should do. So where is the local clinic? Do you know? Do you know anything about this? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Well, everyone sure knows how to answer the same fucking thing. That's for sure. Excuse me, just one question. Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Okay, never mind. Just because of that, you answer differently, huh? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Uh, you know what? While I'm here, let's talk to that Roy guy again. I think maybe nothing will change, but also... I feel like we know that he is not really the Roy we're looking for.
Oi. What are you gawping at? Can't help you there, mate. I have been told that you hired Dea's son, Girves, right before he vanished. His brother also said you had a metal eye. What do you make of this? Tell that him to stop making things up. I think when they say someone else, they want you to point to another country and ask. I mean, feels like it. Uh, his brother Girvesh disappeared after Roy Solsby, a strong man with a metallic eye, hired him. Okay. Yeah. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. What? I'm doing all the work. Uh. Like a meat pie. Okay. May I ask you something? I can't tell you because I don't know. Well, all right then. Uh. May I ask you something? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone. Hi. Can you satisfy my curiosity? It is a shame I can't answer your question. Honestly, I think I, asking all these random people was only useful for the very first quest. I feel like it's absolutely useless right now. I should only go t between the people that actually, you know, I've had proper conversations with. Have you ever heard of a man with a metallic eye? I've seen him even. Dirty Summers is the name. A nice Dirty out, Summers? A That's an unfortunate name. Place of a missing eye. I shudder to ask, but where does one find a Dirty Summers? He likely signed on with a ship. I am not one to spy on others, let alone him. Hmm, I see. My advice, keep away from him. Right, I can't do that. He's involved in a kidnapping. We so got hired onto a boat somewhere. That's right, because we did see the this thing needed for honest work. Right. Uh, wait, apply for details at the pub any Wednesday. So, I mean, they did apply for the pub, at the pub, but... Probably be around here, I guess. That's where I was. There we go. Can you tell Excuse me something? Me. Just one question. Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Who hired him, goddammit? So far, could you help me? No, sir, I've never I don't think this game has been very much for me. I wanted the spooky stuff, but I can barely get to it. Help me, please. It's just so no, much sir, 
asking questions. Are you able to help me? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Back. Seems to be all right. I don't know why that happens. I think it's just Twitch server things. Uh, we don't have enough for this one yet, though. So let's pin this. Let's go talk to good old Roy. Uh, who I think is over here. Tell me the truth, you God damn it! Now? Confront. Mr. Soulsby, you know more than oh wait, the, the text was read. Is that bad? Don't I have all the evidence? I'm lagging badly right now. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, it happened to me too. But it should be fine now. For me at least, I don't know. Things are a little bit weird. Uh, what is the crime? Who is the criminal? A man named Dirty Summers was involved in some recent kidnappings across London. He used your name as a cover for his deeds. What? Really? That doesn't mean I'm involved, though. Uh, no, but... Um... We have your card? Your calling card was found at the crime scene. That's enough to make you a suspect. Ah! You cannot be serious. Well, yeah, absolutely. I can absolutely be serious about that. It's good now? Okay, good. Oh, is it final evidence? One moment. No. Mr. Soulsby, you know more than your letter. A man. What? Yes, yes. Uh. 
Oh, wait, maybe that was the wrong one. I need three pieces. Maybe I don't have them all, and that's why the confront text is red. Your calling card? You. you cannot be serious. Uh, the final piece of evidence. I mean this one, right? Roy Souls be gave independent. Yeah, let's try it. Proves nothing. Shit! Sorry, you lost me there. I got a slap. <laughs> yeah, I think we maybe don't have everything yet. I shall take my leave. <laughs> You're guilty because of this. No, that doesn't make sense. Fair enough, I shall take my leave. Uh, I need... Hmm. I don't have enough for this. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We go around asking more about this, I suppose. This one, I feel like, is definitely a good piece of evidence. Likely a sailor. Hmm. This doesn't say much. Okay. So maybe we need to ask around a little bit more. I'm not sure who to ask. I don't think the random people know much. Ah, ah, hello. Okay. <laughs> Camera. What you doing? Are you able to help me? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Do you have Roy Soulsby's character portrait? True. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's try to use that as evidence. I just figured... I don't know if uh, those observation is like really evidence. <laughs> but in this game, I guess it is. Oops. Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. What, what makes you say that? <laughs> I love the stuttering. What, 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 what makes you say that? Uh, okay, so we don't have it available here. Well, definitely this calling card. How do I fit in all this? Sorry, you lost me there. What? Mr. Soulsby, you know... Okay, let's start a with this one. Named Dirty Summers. What? And then the calling card. Your calling card was. And then portrait. It's true. Ah. And that's before mentioning your gold watch. It's Excellent. Sithels. Very well done. Clearly, you have found yourself another source of income. I'm sure Scotland Yard will be delighted to investigate further. All right, stop. Look, it's not as it seems. 
I did not partake in the kidnappings. I just I looked the other way. Mr. Salisbury. <laughs> yes, I know Summers. He paid me to turn a blind eye to his business in the warehouse area. Just that. On my word. You did not tell me which warehouse. That's all you did? I do not recall. That's but still a crime, you know. Paint to mark unsupervised warehouses. Ought to be one of them. What else can you say of Summers? He is a regular at the Cursed Mermaid. Goes there with his crew almost every evening. What for? I don't know. I assumed just for a drink. And I would assume something else. To talk dirty business. Oh, actually, I can. Fast travel. Yay. Pess up! Barmaid, you know more than you're letting on to. Perhaps this Summers is her baby daddy. Why do I have the feeling that you know more about Dirty Summers than you're letting on? I have nothing more to add, sir. Oh boy, this again. Okay. Uh... Mm. Let's start with a testimony. I failed to follow. Shit. Are you finished? I have glasses to wash. Why do I? I... Uh. I mean, this one was on both. I guess let's try that one again. Enough. I have hard evidence that Summers was involved in recent kidnappings across London. I'm not surprised. So what? Now the testimony. Maybe. A customs officer, okay. Roy Salisbury, testified that Summers was a regular here. You must know something about his business. All I know is his drinks order. And then perhaps her character? Right. Ah, but she does know more because she knows she is a dangerous man. I think. Hard to make Shit. Head to tail. Are you finished? Let's just do the goddamn portrait then. I feel like my deductions are better. Enough. This game is wrong. Uh no. And then let's do her. If the lives of the missing do not concern you, then I would urge you to think about your unborn. Oh my child. god. Sherlock. Yeah. What did you think? Perish the thought. I mean you can't admit to it. Nothing of the sort, but that doesn't mean that there won't be consequences for your silence. Everyone knows you happily served Summers and his crew. Should the police come knocking, you'll be the one going away. And none of us wish to see you raise a child behind bars. Now, spare yourself the trouble and tell me all you know. Okay, okay. What a savage. Summers hired my private room. I think he used it to recruit people. But I haven't seen him in a few days. He paid me cash, so I paid him no attention. Nor did I touch anything inside. Here's the key. Go and do what you will. Just leave me out of it. All right, then. Before, do we have anything more with this? No. Okay. What's this? Strong men needed for moving crates in warehouse area. Okay. Food still hot. It's, they've been here recently. Five shillings. That won't go far. The Parker and the Williams Company, Manchester. Uh, an invoice. Okay. 
Sold to Oscar Summers Cargo High Quality Sailcloth Packed in Wooden Crates Quantity 50 Crates Total 50 Pounds Well alright Press uh, scratches. Fresh scratches. Okay. The job is to move crates in the warehouse area. Okay, okay, okay. Ding dong. And we have all the evidence we need. Maybe. Okay, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Dirty Summers has hired men for a warehouse work, sp specifically to carry crates of sailcloth. The abductees could still be inside the warehouse, which should be marked with red paint. Mm -hmm. Pin it! So, let's find this warehouse then. Oh, actually, didn't we... ...walk past the warehouse, kinda? Over here? Maybe it's not the right one. Red paint, anywhere? I'll ask some questions. Able to help me? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. How about you? Do you know anything about this? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Well. How about you? Could you help me? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. I should ask someone else. I mean, this is red. Ask for your assistance. Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Um, This familiar to you? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Red paint. This is red paint. Where is the entrance? There is none. This is a design flaw in the building. Once again, I feel like that building has red paint, but I couldn't do anything over there. Maybe I need to... Let me look here first. Help me, please. 
No, sorry, I know nothing. You sound so sarcastic. Nothing here. Nah. I mean, the warehouse seems like it should be at the dock. Probably at the entrance. Yeah, true. Maybe it's not the entire building itself. Missed an entire area. Okay. Well, fuck. Yeah, we got some red paint. Oh, snap! We need to pick locks? Uh... I think we learned this. Wait. Okay. Oh, I see. So that one needs to be quite high. Maybe? Ah, a little too high. Open. Oh, enter. What the fuck? It has been space to confirm all this time. Why enter all of a sudden? Really, Holmes, this ought to be beneath you. As my brother would say, it is for the greater good. Greater good. How mysterious. Oh. Hello. This crank saw some use. He cranked one out. Well oiled and well maintained. Excellent. Fit for a crank. <laughs> It's well oiled. Fit for a crank. The layers of rust will prevent any movement. Give me the crank. Are they hiding something underneath? Illuminati. The 
depart this location. Wait here, Watson, and keep an eye on the doors. I'll scout the premises. Will do. Be careful down there. Uh oh. Well, at least you won't be annoyingly in the way. Rat. Wait. What's happening? Uh, what the fuck? So it begins. <laughs> what, what is this place? Where it's time for a little bit of Eldritch Horror, perhaps. But why now? It's not like I entered a specific place that, you know, should bring this forth. Perhaps. The things they smuggle has some eldritch connections. Or they used narcotic gas on me or something, I don't know. Gotta be careful. I'm always careful. Except when I play Zelda. In which case, I always nose dive. What, what did he say? Ah, yes, the missing puzzle piece of your heart, Sherlock Holmes. This You're a high-functioning sociopath. All along. Is it an, illusion? an illusion. What are you hiding? The only way forward is the abyss. What are you, Artorius? Only way forward is the abyss. I am the abyss walker. A confused face was cute. It is one of my favorite reactions, because it's so derpy. Uh... Oh, the abyss. Do I need to jump off? <laughs> Phew. I didn't die. It worked. <laughs> I'm a genius. Well, all right. It is icy cold and pulsating. Dude. <laughs> and go back. <laughs> the sound effects. My heart be calm. Uh, who's that in the... in the cage? Is it Nicholas Cage? Short stride, boot prints. Kjarnak something. Kadishtu, okay. I'm afraid I do not long know that language. Oh! I should have run. Open the gates! <laughs> Did I just drop them? Sorry. I really need to move forward. Does it stay open now? Nope. Ah. Ah. Wait. Why does it seem like it closes the faster I run? He needs at falling with no safety. Well, it worked, didn't it? Somewhere else. How? It's harder to breathe here. Must be the high altitude. What? Oh, what the fuck? You know what? I'm gonna stay away from that. Just a thought. Don't you raw at me. What's this? An eye. It's like it stares right through me. Really? It just seems like a bad 
crayon paper. Should we jump to the abyss again? What's that sound? Oh! What the? Hey, come back here! Is it because of you? Because of you. Um. Now I'm confused. How do I? Horror part making its entrance. Yeah. <laughs> Stairs right through you, eh? So what if I... I mean, I don't think anything... Any of what I have will help. <sighs> Fine, monster, I'll look. Hello! Ugh. Yeah! Oh, that's gross. I don't want to go in there. <sighs> Fine. Oh, no. Oops. Oh, fuck. Well. That's, uh, you know. It's quite a way to travel, I'll say. What the fuck's that noise? Oh. Is that all? <laughs> oh, and now it stays in place. But how do I open the door? The eye. Hmm. Nope. I don't want to go there again. Is it still the only way forward? To jump into the abyss? Oh wait, I can go here now. No wait, that's where I came from, right? Ah uh, well, I guess I could try. Did that work? No. What if I go back? Here. Away only when you have no choice. My comments are quite delayed. I think it's just how the stream kind of works. You know, the stream automa automatically gets a little bit delayed. I have as little delay as possible it's like it's, um, right through me. applied to the stream. But it's just, you know, the stream reaching the server and then streaming out to the platform and everyone else. It's just always going to be a little bit of delay. Uh, well. It's like it's looking right through you.
Not sure what that means. I'll try jumping here again, maybe. Probably it. Ew. He threw up on me. Just see something. Wait. Ah, okay. I thought maybe if I didn't look at the door. Platform not doing good today, I guess. The delay is longer than usual. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I'm not sure then. Maybe it is a little bit on my end. But everything seems to be alright. Uh, from what I'm seeing. But, you know. Is there any... Hint. Except that the eye is looking right through me. It's like it stares right through me. What the? Oh. What the fuck? So I need to concentrate. Ah, fuck! My head is already spinning. When will this end? Oh. You know what? I'm just gonna... Two recesses. Okay, okay. I mean, I guess I just pick a door, right? Let's start with this one. On my head. What just happened? Okay. Is there a... Uh... An indication as to which door. Maybe I should just walk through them all in a certain order. Oh wait, there's markings on the door. That are all the same. Never mind. Nine. Oh, the, by the way, the other thing was like Eldritch speech. Aha! The stench. Oh, oh, what the? Oh great, I found one. So happy about that. A strange stone. It almost feels alive. 
I shall call you Timmy. Is there an eye here? No. Ah. No, wait. This one. So tried that, 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 uh, not this one. Ah. What? Maybe I did check. I did check this one. Uh, let's put Calm one down. in. One to go. Uh, see this one again, because then maybe I missed something there. This one had the eye, but we cleared that one. Yeah. Creepy, yeah. Just fucking closing the door on me. Any footprints here? Or? The only one that seemed to have anything and was different was this one. So I'm guessing... Clear edges. I don't know what that means. Oh, what the fuck? So if you run... Oh my god, okay. Such interesting mechanics. Like based on certain movements. Oh, that is truly revolting. Oh, there we go. Frozen and pulsing almost like it has a heart. Wait. Hearts are not frozen. I know. Oh, the sound. Okay. 
Man, none of these mechanics really get taught to you, huh? Just kind of get forced to figure it out. Am I? Did I get out? I think so. Also, is this a cult? John? What is it, Holmes? Man, he was spitting bars. Oh, wait. I'm Watson now. I'm coming, Holmes. Do I have to go through the. What? path was not the same. Watson! Holmes, where are you? Hello. Are you going crazy? You gonna shout the gibberish now? Holmes! Holmes! Are you alright? Uh... Fine. Watson, um... I, I, I'm, I'm fine, thank you for asking. You do fine? not look fine. By Jove, you should have heard the way you called out my name. It was just a game of shadows. <gasps> ah, just like the I'm the movie back. title. This place gives me the chills. Maybe it's a I book title as well. Back. Sherlock Holmes: A Game of Shadows. Something that's finally interesting. Hurry, Watson! You need to observe me. I have black eyes or bags under my eyes. I hope we are close to finding our answers. This place is Oh, I can second. illuminate. Do just turned a creepy scene into a funny. <laughs> it just sounded so ridiculous. Like if if the like incantation or the the mantra he was spewing was completely monotone, then that would have been like very creepy. But he was just like he added like a melody to it. <laughs> it was just spitting bars in Eldritch horror language. Ah, yes, the crutch. His abdomen is severely bloated. Broken nails, dried mud crumbs. He's been eating too many of them mud cookies. Needle prick. That needle was a real fucking prick. Cyanosis of the lips, marks on the neck. This man was strangled. He was spitting too much bars that people got jealous, so they strangled him so he can no longer do it. I, uh, I hear you. Are you working for them? The fuck? Points. At least two dozen pendants, all identical and made of... Oh, never mind. Is it like a sigil? Uh, where it's like... If you have this, you are in our order. An American passport. Amos Colby. Okay. Oh. Someone got their hands dirty painting this with blood. Andy, I think the observing has t turned you into a slight perfect. <laughs> what do you mean turned into? Anyway. Date and place of birth, April 20, 1852 in Boston. Massachusetts date of entry into country, September 22nd, 1882. Interesting. The back of the passport features a bloody drawing. It vaguely depicts a sea creature. Perhaps an octopus. Of course it does. Uh, and a matter of discreet investigations. For you, we shall re-search the world. 
Okay. And we got a ritual dagger. I've never seen a pattern like this before. Really? You've never seen this pattern before? Old blood stains. Old blood for the old gods. Blood for the blood god. Have they been doing like some alchemy stuff? It seems made for simple experiments. I wager they could not afford a better set. <laughs> really? <laughs> you gonna poor shame them? I mean, I guess they're a call to kidnap people, but... Uh, oh, wait. I saw something. There. This box contained a narcotic substance, much like the one in Kimihia's brazier. Oh. Black Edelweiss Institute established 17-something. Bidding. Oh shit, I need to establish a crime scene. Snap! <laughs> oh. You shall not spit bars anymore, we shall take over! Uh, what is the second one? I mean, they did have a ritual dagger, but he was being strangled, so... Oh. I would assume it's the first one. Let's check more evidence. I feel like I'm hearing noises. Is that you, Watson? What on earth? It looks like the scribbling of madmen. <laughs> What's with that laugh? The fuck? Oh. Um. I mean, yeah, I would assume there were many. There's just so many beds here as well. Clothes are missing buttons. They were forcefully removed. Dumpra, a staple of lecture men's attire in Nepal. Oh, dozens <gasps> of people at the very least. So it's his uh, brother. Oh. Uh, Watson, could you? You can't in the way. Do you move? He turns psychopathic, yeah. Uh, Watson, seriously? Could you? Move. Uh, forcefully, so it's probably this one. Oh, one moment. Every goddamn time I stream, I forget to change the change the um, title. Uh, so we're still in just chatting right now. That's not supposed to be the case. Sherlock Holmes. Awakened. Uh, I think it's this one. Update. Okay. There we go. I will be dashing out of there when I hear that. Uh, you and me both. I don't think I... Uh, 
feel like I need to investigate that much with all these crazy people, you know? Maybe if I uh, had the police force behind me or something. Oh shit. This is all the missing people. You know what? I bet these are uh, developers or maybe like uh, supporters of the game. Like Patreon subscribers or something. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. That's cool. Ah, these people. <laughs> this looks interesting. Miserable food. Mass produced. Crab's pretty fancy food, isn't it? Maybe not. I don't know. Oh. Oh, potent. This sensor has more narcotic residues. Interesting. Small blood stain, but not serious. Looked like something or someone like bent it open or broke it open. The strength it would take to carry this crate, let alone break it. Deep scratches. Oh my god, was someone inside the crate? And we're trying to scratching. Uh, to get out. What's gonna be making me think I saw a ghost? <laughs> he just be popping up everywhere. Uh, maybe, but it does look more like someone broke out from the inside. Oh shit. Yeah, 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 because then the elbow smacked that shit. I think it's this one. Uh, what else? What else? I don't have one here. Should be one more. Shit. These clothes were crudely cut off someone. An American, judging by the style. Mud intentional drawing. Someone used mud to draw a cross in a rectangle. Why? I mean, ritual. It'd just be crazy, man. Oh, wait. Rope. Fine rope work. Cut by a finer blade. Alright, this is the final one. No. So, yeah. Hit his head. However. It was cut. Damn it. Cut by blade. Ah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Many people were brought to this place. Their abductors stripped off their clothes and discarded them in a pile. The prisoners were kept in a soporific trance by the use of narcotics. Holy shit. A few tried to resist, but alas, in vain. After a few days, everyone was stuffed in a crate and sent elsewhere. Only one captive was left behind. Holy he was strangled fuck. to death on this altar. Makes you think like it is a torture chamber? I mean, pretty much. 
I guess it's a ritual what, chamber, what the hell is but Holmes? Calm yourself. pretty much torture the way they do things. Oh, uh. Uh. Cannot be. Is this alien? You're just gonna come out of his stomach like that? Oh, that's a gross. That's so what fucking disgusting. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, that's gross. Oh my god, that's more terrifying than anything I've ever Please seen. tell me we found all we needed to, Holmes. I think we found a bit more than that. Yet we have no clue as to where those people have been taken. And that's where you're wrong. Uh. We have more than enough. I just need to connect the dots. How about you pack your suitcase in the meantime, my dear fellow? I don't know about you, but... Case. I just found it so... Gross. To have living, you know, things that should not be in your body, being in your body. That's just, uh, that makes me shiver me timbers. Uh, it should be marked with red paint. Okay, yeah. I mean, what do we do now? What do we do with a drunken sailor? Do we deduce? Uh, who is the dead man on the altar? I would assume it's... The American? Because he was tied up and cut loose and then put on the altar. Maybe. Okay, so passport is one, so it's probably the American then. Okay, unknown man on the altar. Uh, I mean, let's just try this out, I guess then. Maybe we don't have enough evidence. Uh, yet. Never mind. Does that mean the guy we're looking for is dead? Um... I'm not sure. Maybe not. I, I don't think... I don't think he is quite yet. Like, maybe. Because maybe he was the one in the box and he got, like... Uh, you know, assaulted. But, uh, the guy on the altar seemed to be, uh, an American. Um. And I believe, uh, Kimiya was from, uh, New Zealand. Uh, the man on the altar was a private detective from the Northwood Agency in Boston. Mr. Colby may have been investigating the disappearances before getting caught and killed by the perpetrators. Oof. Oh boy. Where have the abducted been sent to? Uh. Yeah, good question.
just try these. I'm not sure. Okay, so the cross in the rectangle makes sense. For a clue. Maybe... The hiring notice. And... This one. Okay, so the tin box with all the sigils. Okay. The abductees are headed for the Black Edelweiss Institute, established in the 1700s. It lies somewhere in Switzerland. I always knew those Swiss people feel, felt too, too good to be true. Just in case. Some key, uh, some key information for your case can be found in the archives. Open your case book with C. Highlight evidence marked with an open book. Press space to start your research. Oh. I can do research, eh? Uh, oh, what, what did it say? Switzerland. So Europe. And it was 1700s. Field of activity was institute, so I'm guessing education. Or wait, institute, I guess could be medicine as well. I think it's education. Corrupting the young minds to summon Cthulhu. Uh, and Black Edelweiss Institution would probably be a private. I think. Governmental? Ah. Uh. Oh, I can only add three. Okay. Let's search. No information and evidence. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guess I got everything. I mean, it, it, Switzerland is in Europe, so. And it, that's the date. So maybe this one it should be like medicine? Yeah. Because it's, uh, it's interesting. In Sweden, we have uh, the Car Caroline Institute of... Uh, medicine and stuff like that and it's a university but it's also a hospital so that's that's the confusion i had uh the black edelweiss, edelweiss institute is in interlaken switzerland established in the 1789 okay by professor keller the institute specializes in mental illnesses and addictions. It is currently headed by Professor Gygax. Dr. Watson. Of course. How does a trip to Switzerland sound to you? It sounds unexpected. What makes you think we should head there? It's all about the box with narcotics and Mr. Colby's clue, the cross inside a rectangle. Put two and two together, add a dash of research, and what do you get? The Black Edelweiss Institute in Interlaken, Switzerland. If we hurry, we can still catch tonight's train. Hey, Sherlock Holmes. Your eyes look a bit puffy. Maybe you should hide it with makeup. As you claim others do. As grateful as I have been for your company, Dr. Watson, I'm afraid you shall have to investigate Edelweiss alone. Alone? Mr. Holmes, I fear you overestimate my abilities. Nonsense. You are a military man, a bastion of British courage. I'm no such thing. As a doctor, I avoided most combat, save for one dreadful day. 
My troop was ambushed in a village with innocents caught in the crossfire. Oh no shit. Too many to help. The man with the rosary. He was one of them. A translator, yes. We were trapped. Six soldiers and myself. I thought it was the end. But Lieutenant Paget refused to go quietly. The men prepared for a final stand. I rose to follow, but Paget shook his head. He told me to run. That I had other men to save. They charged, and I fled through the rear. So you see, Mr. Holmes, I am a coward. Oh, shit. The logic seems inescapable. Yes. You, a surgeon by trade, would have been perfectly useless in that conflict. What? No. <laughs> oh. And how many men have you helped since? Ailments eased, troubles tended? No more than a handful. Truth be told, I have become somewhat of a recluse. How many people could you help with 30 years ahead of you? Dozens? Hundreds? Patrick was correct. You can see He's been a little bit crude about it, but you know. I don't it's, it's true, it's true. I would start with, I am Dr. John Watson, may I look around? Yes, uh... Watson has kind of like uh, survivor's guilt. But he's doing good work now, so... It's all good, man. In the Swiss Alps. The Edelweiss staff will doubtless be eager to show off their facilities to a fellow physician. I have already taken the liberty of sending a letter on your behalf to request a visit. And what of you? I shall be pursuing other avenues. Should you see anything troublesome or improper, simply notify the local authorities. Otherwise, try a little analysis yourself. You know my methods. Apply them. Now the real game starts. After... Like four hours. <laughs> but I understand a little bit, you know. There's a lot of things to teach you. How the game works. Mountains of Madness. Though from what I looked up um, on how long to beat, it's supposed to be like nine hours if you do only like main quest stuff. So it's not a super long game. Ah, I'm playing some Watson. I have a wonderful mustache. We in Switzerland now? Yep, that's right. Salutations, madam. I am Dr. John Watson. Salutations. I was wondering if you've got word of my visit. Yeah, Dr. Watson. We received your letter on the matter. Would it be to see Professor Gygax? And yeah, that is correct. At their earliest convenience, yes. I shall try not to take up too much of their valuable time. Wait here, bitte. What happened with the music? You it just flipped. It will drive you mad. Mad. Uh. My apologies for keeping you waiting. What the fuck? Surely you understand how medical work can make one lose track of time. Well, if I go mad, at least we're already in a psychiatric hospital. The importance of closely attending to patients. The work hardly stops here, yet the satisfaction of perfecting the mind compels us to persevere. I take it you welcome many a soul into your establishment? Additions. Yes, we do like souls. We like to sacrifice people and claim their souls for our own. Ha ha ha. Word of mouth. An article I read back in London spoke highly of your institution. But rather than taking its word for it, I thought I would see things for myself. My asylum's reputation precedes it then. Everyone, your attention. Yeah, she's a crazy scientist to be sure. I can see it in her eyes. Amos Colby, Northwood Detective Agency, Boston. I got questions that need answers. Who's in charge here? Huh? What seems to be the matter, Dr. Watson? That's a lie. 
He died. It, it cannot be him. Oh, it's Sherlock. <laughs> He's using a disguise. God damn it. Uh, <clears throat> right. Yes. <laughs> God damn it. I was surprised because that man is a, a, a celebrity. Yes, that's it. Very, Very famous. famous, Mr. Colby. I couldn't believe my eyes. No, 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 no. In my line of work, it can't wait. The longer if you to wish to recuperate, truth, Dr. Watson, you may avail yourself of the guest room. But I have so much more to discuss. Nurse, if you'd be so kind as to escort Dr. Watson to the guest room. Hey, Colby. From I don't North think uh, she's asking. Holland. I think she's telling us to just get the fuck out. <laughs> I would be happy to answer your questions in the examination room. Look, but I would like to examine you, you as you have observed others. I shall observe you. Whoa! There is no need to be angry. No one gets neglected. That smirk. <laughs> no one gets neglected. Now, let's not resort to brute force. Do not worry, Herr Colby. My uh, methods are rather more delicate. She's she's not hiding at all at all. She's just Yeah, I'm the bad guy. <laughs> if you're not already crazy, I'll make you crazy. She looks evil. She's acting evil. Decide precisely what to do with our guest. Snoring. Oh, sh fuck, man, in the slammer again. I need to find a way out. Ah, the unmistakable scent of alcoholism. Did you walk through their doors as I did, or did they collect you off the streets? I would assume off the streets. Because it was a long way here. We took a carriage through the fo foggy forest. Ah, yes. Okay, so... Probably one step. Three, four, two. One, three, four, two. Ta da Me when I see them laughing like a psycho. <laughs> ah <laughs> A truncheon, not the typical tool for a nurse. No. That's typically used to beat the absolute shit out of someone and not wanting to actually kill them. Block B. No, A. Damn it, this font is awful to read. So impractical. Oh. Okay, I can walk there. Intesugung's room. Let's see if my uh, Germanic knowledge of uh, language can figure this one out without watching. Yeah, I got no fucking clue. Examination room? Hmm. Would have never guessed. Me... The commentary... Why did I start being French there all of a sudden? Medicamenti, medicamenten room, perhaps. So some form of medicine room, apothecary, same shit. Hmm. Let me investigate. 
Yes. Any chemist would envy the quality of this equipment. Oh. Spice. The final product, ready to cure madness or to push one deeper into its grasp. I would assume the latter. Raw materials used to formulate medicine. With this equipment, they can create any type of medication. Oh. Holy shit. Woohoo! Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, man, these, uh... These needles look kind of thick. Not gonna... Not gonna lie. I do not want to get pierced by one of those. Imagine having to take shots with these types of needles nowadays. What a nightmare. And I'm not even scared of needles at all. Very sturdy. I might borrow it. Oh, can I use that against someone? Eloise. Uh diagnosis. Dermatillomania, okay. Is that like the fear of uh, skin? Because dermatology is like the science of skin, or the teachings of skin, I think. Dermatologist, skin doctor. Nail trimming every day. Do not untie her hands, even if she won't stop screaming. Oh my god. Yeah, don't play with sharp items. <laughs> don't run with scissors. Or needles. Uh, diagnosis mania. Disassociation. No, wait. Dissociation only. Not disassociation. Uh, after the incident with the nurses, prescribed therapeutic fasting for a week. Holy shit. Mention Josephine to make him more manageable. Okay. Hysteria. Keep raising the dosage until she forgets the child. Oh my god. What the fuck are these people doing? Uh, nervous breakdown. <laughs> is nervous breakdown, is that like a... Mental diagnose nowadays? Oh boy. Then a lot of people have mental issues, I think, because I feel like what nervous breakdowns are very common. <laughs> I'm sure I heard something. Oh, I, do I need to sneak? How do I sneak? Taps to walk. Okay, so I need to walk. Who's there? Show yourself. No, I was clicking. I'm clicking the walk. What the? Hey, what are I, you doing? What the fuck? I call bullshit. I pressed the caps lock. It didn't work at all. Do I have to? Okay, good. What was that? Is someone there? Structured access to- okay, so maybe I just can't go in there right now. I need to lure him away. Oh, maybe I can use the other patients. Pa patients? So, certain people were screaming, right? Like hysteria. Let me read this again. So if I untie... no, that's what makes her stop screaming, maybe. Mm. Okay. Nervous breakdown, okay, okay. So maybe I untie the hands, I don't know. Let's try. So we have... Oh, 
Oh, it's Lionel Richie. You there. What the? I command you to free me at once. I'm not sure that's a great idea at the moment. How dare you deny me? I must have my revenge against the Lickspittles upstairs. What the fuck? Fortunately for you, I'm here to stop the very same people. You are. Indeed. But Don't first, be suspicious. I Don't be suspicious. I can about this institution. Tell me, have you witnessed the arrival of any foreign patients? Tell me. The goal. The impertinence to bark such orders. Please, we don't have time for this. You want help Do or you not? With whom you speak? I am the great Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> Is there Napoleon in every game nowadays? Huh. Napoleon Bonaparte? The one and only. Emperor of the French, first consul of the Republic, leader of La Grande Armée. Once I am La Grande Armée. My revenge against the guards who ridicule me. I shall rest happy in the arms of my beloved Josephine. Right. Well, I will leave you to your scheming, Emperor. <laughs> he hates the guards. Okay, so actually, that could be useful. Aurelian. That's a cool name. Aurelian Kala. Kalaijian? Kalaijian? Oh, my heart is pierced by Cupid. I disdain all glittering gold. There is nothing can console me but my jolly sailor boy. Whatever you say. Lager room. So it's uh, like a warehouse room, I guess. Uh, like one, three, two, one, three, two, three, four. One, three, two, three, four. Ta-da! Perhaps I could find something useful here. A hammer! No? Okay. A simple toolbox, yet capable of repairing anything. A certificate of appreciation from the municipal councillor to Professor Becker for contributions to the development of medicine in Interlaken. Oh. Man, they just start screaming. Like, I think that's kind of what we want to create. Because then the the doctor that's stopping us from moving forward would run into the patients. Ooh, a crank. Looks like it's still operational. Could crank another one out. Oh. This photo was damaged seemingly by oil. Damn those oil companies! I can make up the Ruining everything. You. Cooking grease. Is this the kitchen dumbwaiter? <laughs> Expert lock picker. You know it. I mean, it's kind of, kind of simple when you only have to, when you can see the inside of the lock, I suppose. But speech and the cerebellum by S. A. Becker. The cerebellum. John Sallow, the Tulpa phenomenon. I'm somewhat of an expert already. <laughs> okay, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm somewhat of an expert. R.G. Hill, Dr. Connolly, it appears that all the psychiatric classics were banished here. Sherlock being a bit full of himself, huh? Uh, from Professor Becker. I have suffered serious chemical burns upon my hand, the consequence of your inexcusable actions. My session with Gerda ended before it even began. Poor thing was so terrified she refused to talk, and started to destroy everything in the room rather than let me approach her. What you did to Gerda will not and cannot happen again. Let it be known that I consider your methods a barbaric malpractice. If, as you so boldly claim, you wish to be the future of my facility, you must embody my high standards to not disappoint me again. 
Professor Becker, director of Black Edelweiss. Well, there you go. He's been a bitch to everyone. Tubes of varying diameters. Interesting. Yes. Intriguing. Wondrous, even. Wait, can I crank this? No, okay. So... Okay. Who's the one... Which hand is tied? Is it this one? No. It was Eloise. But she doesn't seem to be here. What's up here? Looks like a... Uh, an old, uh, like... Cloister or uh, castle with uh, with these things. This sedative worked faster than I expected. Perhaps I ought to train myself, build up a tolerance. Well, I don't think now's the time. So I think building up tolerance will take quite a while. A camera. Reception. Darn. No way I can get past him without being noticed. Fuck. Ooh. There's the guest room. I wonder if Watson was able to speak to Gygax. Maybe he got kidnapped too. All right, let's talk to Napoleon. I command you to let me out. Okay, never mind. I thought I could let him out. Uh. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess I'll try the reception then. But wouldn't I get caught? Locked. I suppose the reception will be guarded anyway. Yeah, exactly. Map. Oh, I do have these things, right. Right, I'm an investigator. I forgot. Uh, we have syringes. We have a bottle of sedative. Metal tubes to use like a dart um, thingy. You know, like a blow, blow tube, blow dart. Aha! Blow pipe. Uh, it could be possible to sedate the guard from a distance using a handmade blow pipe. Perhaps one of the tubes from the storage room could suit. Excellent. And let's go there. This should suffice. Excellent. Eh. 
<laughs> yeah, how do you like it, huh? This should be enough to avoid unwanted attention, at least from a distance. From a distance. Ooh, can I get some more of that sedative? That's very useful. Here. This is the same narcotic substance that we found in London. Oh shit. Like I know London was like a or Britain was a, you know. A good a la large um trading country and all that during these times but why are people in Switzerland just thinking like hey you know what let's kidnap people from Britain from London and take them here hello Cthulhu be with you. Yes, praise Cthulhu. In all his glory. Uh, hello? Go away or I will oh, shit. your lips from your skull with my fingernails! Miss, I... I'll gouge your eyes out and cut off your hands, just like you did to Heidi. I am quite certain you would, but I'm afraid you have me mistaken for someone else. So, I take it your name is Gerda? Who is Heidi? You talk strange. <laughs> You're going to Hell's Door, aren't you? They're going those crazy. Funny talkers finally shut up. Hell's Door? To what do you refer? Only Heidi had answers. Go away, pig! I merely... I said go, or you will spend your last moments on Earth screaming. This door won't stop me. Crazy! They want to start some kind of cult. I mean, yeah. I, I guess so, I guess so. You need people from all over the place. You know? Diversify your cult. I understand. Hello, fellow doctors. I am also a doctor. Greetings. I'm gonna go do doctor things now. Don't mind me. Actually, I'm not sure I can. Oh, wait. Here I can go. What's this? Restricted area. Yeah, I could not have figured that out. Veskiri. So it's like a washroom. I fucking hate creepy dolls. I hate creepy dolls. Uh. Oh my god, that's... you're so... So... pretty. So you're... Uh. I didn't realize I was on Haunted Doll Watch. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. The fuck? Wait. Was I supposed to do something else with it? Oh. Good lord, how unsettling. The damage seems intentional. <laughs> Good lord, how unsettling. <laughs> I would concur, Mr. Sherlock, Mr. Garments Holmes. Of several dozen people at least. Wait, they're not... This is the washroom, Fabric right? In the furnace. 
Are they burning the old clothes or? A jalabir, a traditional garment from Northern Africa. First, I get the feeling that like, were they burning people? But then I realized, no, wait, they they want the people alive. Restricted area. Not for me. Scribbled in Georgian. I do not know that language, so this is gonna be hard. She's gonna teleport back to you every time you try to throw her. Oh. <laughs> you mean the the woman in the cell? Yeah. Uh Dutch, a weak-minded subject, eager to follow orders for perceived rewards. Strong build. Oh shit, could that be the... Um... Fuck, what was his name? Dirty Summers. The subject remained violent, requiring the need for traditional sedatives. Once calm, the dosage for the subject was minimal. Okay. Language incomprehensible. Subject is thus assumed mad. Subject possesses a lighter, more agile frame, and as such, a smaller dosage was required. Hmm. Language incomprehensible. Okay, okay. Summary. All subjects in good condition. <laughs> I wouldn't call that good condition. Showing signs of obedience regardless of... Okay. They must move on for further testing. This so place this is... is they kept the prisoners docile and fucked up. Oh, I need to do... These kind of investigations. Something sticking out. But what is <gasps> a cross? An orthodox reliquary commonly found in Eastern Europe, now in a cell halfway up the Alps. Interesting. Bye. It's from above. Snap. Oh my god. You just beat the shit out of people. <laughs> yeah, most likely not. So this one, I would assume. Discoloration, strong chlorine smell. They drug in the prisoners. Yeah, they're doing it well. I mean, they're doing all kinds of things. It's like they're doing like a chemical lobotomizations. I doubt that one could survive such a journey with this little water. Then why did I gain the water? Dirt and sweat. They were locked in here for days, judging by the smell. God damn. Oh, wait. <sighs> it's one of those markings. This is the same design as the one from London. Interesting. Wait. The kidnappers even provided airflow. How generous. How this generous. Was prolonged and perilous. 
Man, people be fucked up, huh? A bottle this sturdy doesn't break by accident. Substantial blood loss. One Ooh. poor soul found another way out. Oh, they broke the bottle and unalived themselves. I mean, considering what they do to people in this place, that's just fucking horrible, but. Scratches, broken nails, yeah. Trying to scratch their way out first. Or, you know, just that a pure insanity. No, because this one should probably be dead already. So yeah, this is the one. As for this, let's see what the last part is. Nope, sorry, wrong one. There we go. Uh, nah. Oops. It's most likely this one. Okay. One more. Doors can be open for deliveries. Oh shit. Uh what's the other one? Yeah. That's the one. The carriages were back through these doors and they began to unload their cargo in secret. Next, the crates were opened, freeing their passengers. Not everyone survived the journey. The dirty, exhausted, and dehydrated prisoners were then herded into cells. But all the cells are now empty, and I have not located a morgue. Time to find Hell's Door. Sounds like a lovely place. Wasn't that funny? Uh, can I talk to her again? Wait. Gerda. I will make them pay for what they did to Heidi. I found Heidi. I oh. I found your friend. Heidi. Oh, poor girl. What did they do to you? Shh. It's all right now. Everything will be all right. Please, go. Uh, now I have found Heidi. I need I'm to voting go. she stays in the cell. Shh, Heidi. You should thank the man, don't you think? Have you ever met Professor Becker? I remember him. He was in charge here before that witch got How long more are you gonna stream? But I haven't heard his voice for a long time. Uh, Too bad. He was nice. I don't know. I think I'm gonna end somewhat soon, actually. I, um... Uh, my, uh, since the, the game, according to howlongtobeat.com, was about nine hours. I figured I was trying to sort of get halfway with this stream and then finish it next Saturday. And I think I'm about there, honestly. So, uh, I think I'm gonna end any, any any moment now. But I also kind of wanted to try out to stay uh, a little bit longer than normal, normal since uh, on Monday I might, you know, stream for a very long time depending on how fast I can beat all three Halo games and Legendary. Uh, why are you here? How did you end up in Block B? The nurses say I'm prone to violent outbursts, but they're wrong. I just do what Heidi tells me. 
Yeah. Doing violent shit just because someone else tells you. That's not actually being violent. Uh, what do you know As about Gygax? Seems to rule this facility with an iron fist. Okay. Do you know anything about her? She's sick. She did nasty things to us. Separated me and Heidi just for fun. Before she got here, this place was all right. Tell me all you know about those funny talking people. We'd hear their screams. The guards would take them down the corridor behind you and they'd disappear. And the screams would stop. Great. I shall leave you two to get reacquainted. Yes. Under no circumstances, open that door. In that a hidden door after some preparation in the cells this passage must lie somewhere near the back entrance okay is that the back entrance where the restricted area In one of these cells. Perhaps not. Oh, or perhaps. Welded shut. The stamp on this crate confirms it came from America. It's quite a distance to travel. So... Oh, oh my god. Ah. Scratches. Scratches. Here's the secret door. Something has been moved through here. Machine seems oil. To be a locking mechanism. The whole thing must be a door. Aha. Uh -huh. Can I press it? Do I need something? Wait, maybe I need the... This thing? This is the same design as the one from London. She might actually just whack you because the doll said so. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. That's what. Uh, that's why I'm like... There ain't no way I'm letting you out of that cell. Okay, so how do I... I feel like I need to bring out the amulets, maybe. The scratches on the floor near the wall seem like more than mere decoration. There's an indent in the wall. It is definitely a keyhole, yet lockpicks have proven useless. Okay. So... What would we need to find? Something in here, maybe? No.
Wait. Where did the... Where did the doctor go? That was here before. Did I sedate it? Did I... I can't remember. Maybe I put him in the locker. Uh... I'm missing something here. Just feel like uh, that medallion thing or that sigil is what I need to unlock the door, but I can't really pick it up. I'd rather not sit in this chair ever again. No way I can get past him without being noticed. I found Hell's door, the one that made the foreigners silent, remember? How do I open it? Gerda, please, I cannot get inside. You have to tell me how to open it. How can you speak to me like nothing's wrong? Tell me, Captain. Heidi crying? Look at her! Look! She's suffering. I'd rather not look. I can't even hear my thoughts over her screams. Poor, poor Heidi. We will fix you. I promise. We will fix you. Leave it with me, Gerda. Eh. Sure. You're going to be good as new. Sure. Um. How do I? Okay. Guess I should go in the laundry room. What else did I need? Blue nails. Why do be looking scary? God, uh, fucking dolls, man. They're just... They're so always creepy. <laughs> Ever since I saw the... The movie... What's it called? Dead Silence? Fuck them dolls, man. Herr Schnitzer, or in other words, Mr. Schnitzer, or maybe Herr is his name, but otherwise, Herr is a Swedish word for Mr. I hasten to assure you that your son is in good hands, and that is unexpected development of a psychological disorder can, that can be remedied at our facility. I am sure you are as concerned about your son's well-being as I am. 
and I am confident our combined efforts will lead to a speedy recovery. The housing of our pharmaceuticals in your warehouse is an important part of this process. If you succeed at drawing officials' uh, attention away from this precious cargo, there will be nothing to stop me from returning your son to you. Safe, sound, and free of this unfortunate illness. Yours sincerely, Professor Gygax. Oh, she's such a bitch. Uh, is there any glue here? Nothing. How about here? Ah, nails. Nope. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Now we got everything. And although I want to keep that doll as far away from me as possible, I gotta know how to get into Hell's door. The thing is, I bet you it's gonna be that uh, sigil medallion thing that you needed, because that's exactly what it looked like would fit in there. And if I could figure it out, Sherlock definitely should be able to. Will this help fix your friend? Give it to me. How is she feeling? Everything will be all right. Heidi. Oh my God! It made it so Gerda, much worse. I have a couple of questions. It's like a Hellraiser yes. doll. I. Take a little while, Greta. You've said enough already. Uh. She won't speak no more. Now it's only Heidi. You helped me. And I didn't cut out your eyes, so we're even. Now go! I'll be honest. That sent a fucking shiver down my spine. <laughs> I did not expect that. That fucked me up. <laughs> oh my god. Heidi, there are things I need some clarity on. I was speechless. Uh, okay. I wouldn't want any consequences. Uh, smile away, boys. Just smile away. Um. Okay, so what should Heidi talk about? Well, uh. That's not interesting. Maybe this is interesting. Oh my, you're being creepy as fuck, yo. Yeah, I do not like that. I do not. It was fucking. I told you, man. Fucking dolls, man. Shit. Get him away from me. I, I I don't know what to start with. I don't want her to give me consequences. I mean, I guess this is what we're here for. So maybe start with that. I found Hell's oh, door, okay. but it's locked. Is there a way to get in? Hell's door? Never heard of it. <laughs> okay, well. Don't need to be a bitch about it. Oh, this one. That's not true. You, Gerda, told me that Hell's Door makes people silent forever. And you believe that snotty little girl? <laughs> the fuck? I personally am sure that she never, never dares to speak again. Okay. She might be a little touchy. And you know, split personality or 
something like that. I don't know. Um. How about... Yeah, maybe this one. I helped her, so maybe she should help me. He's bitter, I think. Your teeth look like a fine necklace. Look at all the manners and sing. The professor will treat him like she treated us. <laughs> what the fuck? The note from the doctor. You think so? Uh, professor. Okay. I'll Hi. try it. There are things I need some clarity on. Ask if you dare, but if I get bored, there will be consequences. Okay, listen here, you little shit. You're locked inside of a jail cell right now, or a psych cell. You're not getting out. You can't hurt me. I found her. Hellstorm. Uh, and then it was testimony. What did you say could work? The note from Professor. Okay. Professor Gygax. Hey, nice one. Scarred your body and mind. You are not protecting Hell's door. You are simply afraid of the consequences were I to enter. Oh, oh preach! With a hammer until you choked on the blood and bits. You could. No, you couldn't. But then you would live the rest of your life in fear of Professor Gygax. I can make that feeling go away. How? Oh, damn. Stop her. But the key, Heidi, the key to Hell's door is critical to stopping Professor Gygax. And I think hmm. you know where it is. Tell him! But you said... And now I say tell him! The Professor, she has a special key. Keeps it close and only brings it down when you people go through. Behind those closed doors, those people start to sing. Oh, they sing in so much pain. Gygax. Those, so they scream. Thank you. Not really Thank singing, you. I, I suppose. I must leave. Leave? <laughs> you joke. Nobody leaves the Edelweiss. Now you will be with us forever. Well, it's time to hit the old. Dusty trail and get the fuck out of here. Uh, all right. This way, I think. She must have the key in her office, yeah. Okay. You know what? On that note, that might actually be... A good place to stop. Just gonna. Hmm. Yeah, let's do a save. Uh, sure. Boy. Oh my fucking god. We got our scare. Finally. <laughs> Though I... I'll be honest, I really thought there would be more... Eldritch uh, horror nightmare things in this game. Because that's kind of how they advertised it. So far... I mean, we saw the ritual room, I suppose. And went through that hallucination for a little bit. But that's pretty much it. I mean, we haven't really seen all that much of it. But that fucking doll. Goddamn, it's so fucking creepy. Hopefully we'll never see them again. Well... <sighs> I'm, uh, I'm gonna end stream here, but um, on Monday I will I will try to do the 
I will not end the stream until I clear Halo 1 to 3, the actual good Halos, on Legendary. Hopefully, that won't take me too long, but I'm gonna try to prep so I actually can go through it. So, you know, gotta prep with some coffee, gotta prep with some pre-made meals, and... Uh, during that stream, I would probably have to, you know, take uh, breaks every now and then, but it'll be fine. Thank you for the stream. I enjoyed it, and I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> okay. <laughs>